you're about to watch three years of me playing solo and you're gonna see the entire evolution of how i went from being a bad solo to a good solo to living in the sky to living in exploit bases to living anywhere i hope you guys enjoy and i wanted to let you know of course that i do have my own servers mesa arc steam asa and asc link in the description come play i make videos on them get your popcorn for this one it's a long one i think you know that by now solo small tribes here on genesis we begin in the bog area then we build our base and then we try to raid our enemies let's get right into the video okay so while i was uh, playing and uh you know obs uh decided to now like uh, record audio for the game so i'll just quickly summarize everything i did until the audio is fixed here we go first i ran along the bog area and then found these strangers fighting then I chased them as if my bow was ascendant. I don't know what I was planning to do. And I was missing every arrow anyways. But then, out, out of a sudden, you know, a miracle happens. One of them decides he wants to go boom boom. And they just suicide by uh, detonating C4. So I yoinked it. And I uh, checked the other guy. Took his detonator as well. And left. I found a nice spot to start my base. So I started farming near it. And a few prehistoric crocodiles may have died along with me. I am very lazy, so I started with a wooden base, which is actually not even finished. I'll finish it later. I probably won't. Then I was like, oh, let's score some buckets with these dodos. And then the raptor interrupted me, so I had to go around and whatever. 20k points later, and then, like a spoiled rich boy, I farmed, buying everything from the shop. Hey, look, the base is finished. I wonder how. With a spyglass and a few tranks, I looked for a frog. Perfect, a 130. Time to knock it out. The other frogs weren't so happy. But I still knocked it out. Then I surprise adopted an iguanodon. They have a bit of weight, so uh, might as well tame it. And those berries were totally not bought from the shop. Hey, look, Kermit was finally tamed. If you don't want the spider to uh, uh, be under your bed at night, you better like this video. And then a unicorn may spawn under your bed. Like the video. Then my brother tried to piss me off. Did work. And I ignored him. Oh hey, my in-game audio is back. Now we can start our normal video. Let's get some pearls, I mean electronics going. So we can make C4, my favorite uh, tool of the game. Well, let's teleport back to our base. Oh, there's a guy here. What? He also has an iguanodon. There's a bullet. Oh, I missed. Every time I shoot, the game gets stuck. Ball with me. Hold up. Probably gonna have to chase him. I keep missing. I'm just gonna spike myself off. There we go. I forgot two of the bolos here last 30 seconds. He's probably mad. Imagine just bowling me and just have to look at me. <laughs> He's just staring at me. He can't do anything. I'm gonna uncry my guard just in case. Then I'm gonna get on it and like bowl it again. Mine's higher level, so I could probably destroy his. Come on, let me bowl a Yuri Guanadon. Come on. I think I have to get on mine. It's fast. Oh, that's a crocodile. I'm good. I think I lost him. I don't know where he went. The Guanadons have like infinite stamps, so he could be way ahead of me. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's coming for me. He's aggressive. Oh, I missed. I think the bowlers go slower than the iguanodon, so I don't think I'll be able to get him. Maybe I can shoot him in the head. I think I hit the iguanodon there. Ah, oh, it's, it's a little hard. I hit the iguanodon again. And maybe I'll kill the iguanodon before I kill him, I don't know. Jesus, we're going. Oh, I think I hit him there. He's probably low, he's wearing hide. Oh, if I can only get one more shot, he'll probably die. What is he doing? Why did he come up here? <laughs> he just jumped down there? I guess I'll chase him. Oh, fall them. Oh. Where'd he go? I have no clue where he is, but I'm gonna kill this one on first. And then look for him. Oh! There! I think that's him. Yeah. Oh, he died. I broke his chest piece and his helmet. 
he probably when he landed he got off of the iguanodon and then took too much fall damage. He was probably low health. Let's go. Well, that was easy. The base is stone, by the way. Uh, let's just make a long neck now so I can have more damage. I'm pretty. I like long necks better. And uh, let's keep the C4 in here and let's look for a base to raid. I'm pretty sure it's 6x damage unless they patched it already. So with a grenade I can raid like a lot of stuff. Let's see though. Oh. Oh, a glitch. Let's fix it. Nice. 1000 hexagons. Well, there's there's people here. I think they have a base up there. It, it still lags when I shoot. I don't know why. Already bugging. Oh, that's uh, a heavy. No, nah, that's that yeah, a whole heavy. Bronto, thanks, Bronto. They're 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 lights. That's what they are. They're lights. They're flashlights. Servers are gonna restart, so I'm just gonna collect the metal, and I'm probably going to try to raid them when I'm back. So right up there is the base that I'm trying to raid. I have no clue how I'm gonna do this, but let's try. Okay, so they have a few turrets. Uh, I think I need to run around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get more grapples and get C4 to raid this. I don't. I think. I think it's possible. They are all waiting for. Oh God! This nope. Damn. I'm just gonna bring Preep to the fight. Let's get it. Maybe if I lick them enough, they'll knock knock out and maybe pass out, and I can just yoink their kits. This guy's already knocked out. Oh my. Oh my God! I'm about to die. I need to get out of here. These bugs. Oh my god, look at my health. Well, I'm gonna reform metal and, uh, you know, never give up. Alright, let's go again. Let's go for another try. I just wanna find out if I can just, uh, flak run it. So, let's give it a try. I'm gonna take grenades just so I can do a little bit of damage. But let's see. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh my tribe mates are currently indoors uh we're all we're all you know dual streaming gay porn we weren't all waiting he for just you. stood in front of me we, we heard, we heard i'm just gonna kill him this guy go off. the others are naked i don't care about them but maybe this guy has something that i can have i'm just gonna lick this guy he'll probably knock out really fast yeah keep biking my frog come on this guy keeps trying oh he's knocked out nice that's two bodies that i got for some reason, when I shoot up the ramp, I can't, like, uh, get a hit. Oh, he had a grenade. Long neck ammo. Nice. I need to check this guy's body, too. Oh, I missed, like, nothing. Okay, when I shoot upwards, it doesn't hit sometimes. Even when I aim at them, see? Maybe the pump will work? Oh. Oh, I didn't register two times right there. Okay, that guy's, oh my god, that guy's literally naked already. Can I kill this guy? One hit. Alright, he's dead, nice. That's three people dead, or knocked out, and dead. I need that guy to come lower, because if I kill him over there, I can't loot him. Let's see what this guy had. Uh, nothing really. Oh, this guy's there. Hopefully it registers. Nice, I got him. Pretty sure Tritz can't hit me. Uh, long other long neck, and one bullet, nice. I'm gonna leave everything important here in this one by one fob that I made, and I'm, trying to, I'm gonna try to do C4 their base once again. Hopefully, this works this time. Here goes nothing. Couple more turrets to deal with, but here we go. I'm gonna go from the left side. Hopefully, I can climb up. Okay, so for some reason right here, I literally hear the C4, like the beep, but it still didn't explode. I, I died before it could explode. I, don't, I have no clue why, but I once again failed another attempt. I went back to base and there's actually these level 100 that I have to deal with. So um, I'm going to try to eliminate the threat real quick. These guys are so fast and I'm only like a level 70, so I'll see what I can do. He had nothing. I'm pretty sure they're stealing from my fabricator, yep. I had uh, pearls there. They're stealing everything. I think I'm gonna have to spike wall this place out. 
hit him once. This guy, look at this guy's speed, it's insane. I'm about to show you guys why I play with no render distance or low. There he is. He can't hide from me. Oh, yep, this is the guy that stole. I don't know where my pearls are though, but at least I got some CP and metal back. As you can see, I spike walled most of the area. I'm buying resources right now so that I could just make a couple spike walls right over here and then finally protect myself from these people. I'm very scared of them knocking me out and then just being able to take everything. Beautiful. There we go. Hennessy, the new DLC. Wait, shit, sorry. Uh, Hennessy. Lava. People sitting on raptors in lava. People harassing a spider in the cave. The ocean biome. Wow. Today's video is a story of me as a solo player trying to dominate Small Tribe's Genesis. Let's get into it. There's a guy here. Oh, hello, guy. What are you doing, guy? He's, he's just sitting there. I found this little area over here uh, during the edge of the map. It's near the southwest spawn, so I think I'm going to build like a 2 by one over here and yeah, start farming. There we go. This is how we start. Uh, Smithy and a few forges behind me. I was walking by and then I saw a Bigfoot over here, so I'm gonna tame him with some Mezzo Berries. Apparently horses aren't scared of people, and like they don't like uh, run as soon as you see them, so that's a good thing from Genesis, I like that. I can just, you know, do this to them and then kill them. Hey. You guys see that kangaroo right next to that monkey? Yep, he made a big mistake showing himself over here. After one hour of chucking berries into the Bigfoot, I finally tamed it. Thanks to um, Skunk Cape over there, uh, I'm able to get berries and then trank this kangaroo out. It's a pain in the ass because they have such a huge desync, but I'll get it down. There it goes. It's down. I came over to the bog area so I could play some basketball and then get some more points to buy more stuff. I just did the alpha, 50 bullet points. Look at that. I got an apprentice pump and a ramshackle sword. I need to take this back to base. Just so you guys know, I did make it back to base. Look at the pump right there. And I made a procopter down saddle so I could place it once it's tamed. I'm crafting gunpowder and then simple bullets to be able to make shotgun shells. Selfie time with skunk cake. Hey, guess who finally tamed? The kangaroo. Let's take him back to the base, if I could call it a, a base, and let's put a saddle on it. If you guys haven't tamed kangaroos in the past, I highly suggest you do. They're insanely uh, good. They're just good. They, they have so much weight. They move really fast. They have the hops. Look at this. Look at that jump. That, that's it's a base with turrets. Okay, let's be careful here. I just want to get this glitch and then not get shredded by those turrets. Oh, there's uh, somebody here. Oh, so many tranks. I could use that team tame another kangaroo, probably. All right, let's get the glitch. We'll get like 1,000 points from that. Let's see how we can jump there. Dude, those stirrups are very scary. They're very far, though. I'm good. Jump right here. Oh. Uh. Later, I knocked out another kangaroo right over here, and I'm going to tame it as well. So, I'm probably going to transfer to the bog area because I'm thirsty and uh, it's very cold. And wait, is that a guy over there? I'm just gonna go for it. I hope I don't get knocked out by him. I'm very weak. There he is. Just need to trank him once and I'll be able to knock him out. I don't want this guy to like ruin my kangaroo team or anything. Damn, I'm low on stem. If I don't hit this, he's probably gone. He's so fast. Maybe he lays down and he thinks I don't see him. He did. I see him. Dude, I'm so slow. I hope he doesn't see me. Where'd he go? Oh, it's hard to find him now. He's in here somewhere. Where the hell? There he is. Come on, he's so slow. Oh, he's wearing a hazmat helm. Uh, he's wearing hazmat. Let's go. I killed him. Ooh. Oh. I'll send the Megala Chalon Saddle. He has soups? What the hell? Wait, where's his body? 
I need his, his there he is. Oh, helmet, shield, and another sloop. Oh my god. This guy, why, why did he have all that on him? I need to see the durability on that armor. So this guy had a mind wipe on him. He had a nice shield. 231 armor for a mega clown. I'm pretty sure that is like really good. And I have another one crafted. So I ended up actually caging that guy because he kept on coming over here. I guess he wants his stuff back. I, I would assume so. And I'm just going to keep him there until this kangaroo is tamed. So 140 and it's almost done. I really need this to be tamed. What does this guy think he is doing? I have a kangaroo. He, try, he thought he could pull the kangaroos or he tried to pull the me and missed. He's running near the dinos. I don't want to hit the dinos, but oh, there you go. I'm going to kick him again. He's gone. Oh, it's the same guy, Rush Bill. Sorry, Rush Bill. I don't think you'll be able to get your stuff back. It's too late now. I'm actually going to store like the good and important stuff in here. And in case they find that storage box where the saddles are, I'm going to put the monkey over here. I think he'll be more hidden right here. And yeah, that's how I'm going to hide my stuff to the best of my abilities since it's harder than just doing it on MTS. We're going to put a bunch of storage boxes inside a foundation. Five minutes into the video and I'm finally in flag. It's good to be back into the swampy bog. I think there's a base here. And they might be on, I don't know. They have a bloodstalker as well. Their, their door's open too. I I don't know how to jump with the kangaroo. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. They have a bloodstalker outside. I don't even know what level that is. Oh. Is that thing targeting me? It's very scary how it keeps moving. Every time I get closer. I've never fought any of these, so I'm very scared of them. Oh, there he is. He's just, he died himself red. Okay. Maybe I can pump him. Oh, he's in the Bloodstalker? Oh, I killed... Oops. I killed the Bloodstalker by accident. It's very weak. There he is. He's hiding in here. There's no way out, buddy. Damn, he survived three shots. Okay, he had a hide. Kaiden. He had blood bags. Nice. Oh, rip that Bloodstalker. It had nothing. Yeah, it was a very low level, level 33. Let's see what this gives. Oh, it gives Kaiten. And I think it just gives Kaiten a meat, yeah. Alright, I need to whistle my kangaroo down here. And get out. Oh, his friend is here. He's about to get kicked out of here. He's dead. Kick, 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 kick. Hello? This guy. Oh, never mind. He's dead. Oh, this guy had a lot of stuff. Well, naked. Thank you. I still need to take that cryopod. I saw it. There it is. This guy had a uh, med bruise on him too. All right, nice. I want to check this place out. Maybe there's something in here. Never mind. Just a raided base. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, he just tried to shoot me. Is he naked? Oh, he's, he's gone. I'm gonna kick him out of here. Come on. Let's go. I think he had a bomb. It's because uh, terror bird. Let's see what he had ammo and a long neck and he has some tranks too uh, um <laughs> well somebody got destroyed campfire 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 all a bunch of campfires and the base just jump up here oh what the hell oh i didn't take fall damage this is bad wait i have blood bags on me from the people i killed <laughs> No way I tamed this. No way. What level is it? 95. I was just walking by. Oh no, there's a crocodile too. If this isn't tame, I'm probably gonna die. I was literally just walking by and then this bloodstalker just grabs me. This is insane. This is gonna be my first bloodstalker tame and it's completely by accident. Please, please, please tame. I guess it takes a while. I got it. Let's go. Now I need to kill this crocodile and get my kangaroo out of here. My kangaroo is like dying to snake. Glitches are so satisfying to fix, and the 1,000 hexagons they give you is really useful, so let's uh, fix it. Amazing. Here, I have gifts, I have gifts. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I'm probably never going to use these saddles, but I guess. <laughs> thank you. I'm just going to get more points here playing basketball and maybe get another weapon like the last time. 
All right, I'm gonna teleport now back to the southwest in the Arctic and go back to my base. And uh, let's leave the kangaroo there safe. I actually lost uh, a kangaroo and the monkey to teleportation. Oh, there's a guy here in a crab. I mean, crocodile, not a crab. What is he doing? I'm pretty sure this is weak, and maybe I can just shoot him off with it. Oh, I did it, the desynced. Stop, stop moving. Oh my god, this is so fast. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this. Look at that speed, oh my god. Oh, can I hit him there? Oh, I hit the crocodile, I think. That thing is insanely fast. Oh my god. I missed. Nice. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this guy. I need him to like stand still for like a good 20 seconds. Oh, oh I could have gotten him. I got a frog too, okay. Frogs are dangerous. They have like a lot of torpor. I need to stay on my kangaroo while the frogs here. I want to kill the guy in the croc, Yo, and then I'll kill the guy in the frog, so he'll be easier. Oh, he's he's friendly. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, I killed him. Rush Bill again. Jesus, where'd he go though? He just disappeared. What the hell? I made a three by three raft, and I'm probably just gonna swim to the end of the ocean, to the border limit, and just log out there. In today's video, me and Hennigan go against each other in a 1v1 where our goal is to wipe each other off of the cluster. We can't build in caves, we have 3 days to get ready, and whoever wipes the other one base wins the challenge. If you find yourself enjoying this video, consider subscribing, and if you want to join this awesome cluster, the link will be down below in the description. Thank you. Hennigan, is that you? Talking to me, you big bub. Ah, I'm gonna cage you day one! Cage day one! <laughs> I won the solo duo challenge. <laughs> Progress was quick and a race was going on between me and him, so I had to go as fast as I could. I tamed PTs, and this taming hunt that's new to the game is actually pretty pog. Now that I had a PT, I would farm a little bit of oil and pearls. With a PT, I was able to find the Crystal Wyvern very fast here on Crystal Isles. So then, I went on to tame it. I needed two more things before I left Crystal, an Anki and an Argy. I found both of them very close to each other. I was going by island and I saw that Hennigan was already working on his pillar. Unfortunately we agreed on no attacking or PvP within the first days, so I had to just leave. Since Hennigan picked the pillar, I decided to look for a place equivalent or nearly as good as a pillar. And I think the iceberg here did a pretty good job of substituting that location. Alkarki would help me defend, I think it would help me raid, and it would also help me farm. So I decided to go for one in Aberration, with this cheap trap by Fat Dog. And it's out, nice. Since there is collision on the server, I had to find a new way of placing forges, and I decided to use triangle ceilings. I hope you like the design of this beautiful base. This is how it's looking right about now. Let's tame a dung beetle so we can get some fertilizer. Let's go. Oh my god, Arthur. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, we also need to tame an Arthur, actually. Hmm, I actually would not mind the wire egg, to be honest. We got an indie forge going for ourselves, good progress, and we got about two heavies in our base. Also got a camp bench. I went out to tame a megatherium, and right as it tamed, a daodon appeared, and I was like, hey, I need you too. So I started knocking it out as well. I put my cryopods back at base, but when I came here, I saw a guy in a lightning here. So there's also a guy on foot. I hit him, I think. Bro, the, the Chalico wasn't even aggro to me, but it got in my way. That was unfortunate, but I already got Wyvern X, so I decided to put air cons below our base. Seal that off for now. And pop our nice, you know, Wyvern. Remember the card key? It came out pretty useful, because now I get a lot of metal. And stone, and flint, and everything. Got a blood Wyvern, a water Wyvern, tamed Carbonemus to soak bases. Down here I had my breeding area, as well as a greenhouse. And up here, the base is progressing slowly but surely. Something really funny happened to Hennigan, but that's the reason that I'm here. You can see that on his video and his perspective, down below in the description. Basically, he came and raided these guys, but he got stuck under the Indy Forge. 
And I'm here to steal the loot. Let's see how it goes. They were new to the game, but they surely knew how to farm. Alright dude, I'm on my way. Actually, I gotta make C4, hold on. Oh, you're you fucked. Did. You're raided. Right. You're fucked. I'm, <laughs> fucked. I'm dead. Oh! <laughs> you just die? <laughs> no. Almost? Orange and stone on me, that's why. I'm coming. <laughs> Mid looting company came. Hennigan was here to counter me. Oh, shit. No, 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 I don't have a I don't have whip. Really? Interesting. Nah, you're not about to see for much of my dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I had way too much to lose on my RG, so I decided to go place a bag somewhere near the mountain, leave the RG there, uncrowd the wyvern, and try to find them and kill him. Ooh, there he is parachuting. You don't fucked up. No! You don't fucked up. He ran around, I should have landed, but since I didn't, I ended up losing him, and well, he had all the ARB from the turrets on him, which was a sad loss. But I had to leave now. Well, I could probably raid this. There's no turrets, just plan X. I can just come with a rocket launcher and open the door. The door is open, but I'm trying to remove some plan X so that I don't get hit and not die, you know, just in case. There we go, that's nice. I think I could run it now. If you want to avoid Plan X, you just zigzag like this and shield while you jump and here you go. I didn't even get hit once. This was a pretty easy raid, but it wasn't that profitable to be honest. I heard a boss here on Vogue Row, so me and Hennigan decided to team up for a second uh, off, off the map and split the loot that we could get from this huge counter. I'm a quicker than... Oh, there's three. Oh, yeah. Take one. This one's dead. Oh shit, the right one. He's almost dead. Nice. I didn't do anything. Kill him. Oh my god, we got a flag, bro. And we got a rhino. Hold on, wait. I'm still fighting this guy. Oh. 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 Look at this. Who's oh. gonna have this? Uh, hmm. I have a tooth. Oh, chain chomp. I came to one of the charging pods here on Crystal Isles because I needed batteries to be charged for this fob. Then finally came the day of the fob. I had a battery which I could place very quickly before I had to place the whole entire fob. So we're gonna go ahead and place that. Oh, foundations are so close. What the hell? Okay, let's place it right here. Let's transfer all, turn it on. And nice, we have some protection. Now let's put down the whole fob. The easiest way to raid this is by placing, you know, ramps. So I'm gonna start ramping up to his base. I'm gonna put a bat heavy right below the ramp. Probably should have made this a little taller, but this is fine. This is that he can't shoot rockets at the ramp and just destroy it like that. It's pretty foggy out here. Wouldn't you say? So, so. Oh my god, okay, that's not what I expected. How could he see me? Uh, I want a bomb. Huh. So lucky. So lucky. Ah, uh, you wanna fight? Let me fight. It's raining, you bomb. Yes. Oh, okay, now I gotta have to kill you. Okay. How do you see me during that fog? <laughs> just go with How did you see me during all that fog? <laughs> Am I, I, I on? No. I can um, prove it. Go. No, no, no. If you say you don't have an so. Now that he had a timer, I could use his time to start soaking a bit with the golem. He threw out a giga, but it got trapped by his own bear trap. So, I started pumping it. But then, I didn't know that the pump could actually, you know, do damage to it. 
So I stopped pumping it. I even thought that it was going to be useless, so I ended up leaving it alive. But then I regretted that. Can't be peeking those. <laughs> Biting the fucking thing. Good instincts, good instincts. You're better off flaming, by the way. Why is that thing not following me? Oh, it's glitched in the ground. The rhino's got it. Oh, you lord. Should I let it nip on it? I wouldn't. Yeah, oh, you're gonna live to regret that one. Okay, it doesn't reach in time. Wait, never mind. This ain't smalls. That thing doesn't do 5k a bite. Oh, it does hurt, though. Oh, that hurts. Then Hennigan realized he could throw rocks on my ramps, and basically the raid was over. I left and prepared a new strategy. Hopefully it would work when I was back. But before, I was going to profit off of some raids to come back even stronger. I found the base on a neighbor iceberg. Since I learned how to use the pillars thanks to Hennigan, I was about to do it again, but on iceberg. Here we go. I destroyed a few Plan X, which is all I need to destroy, and then I'll stand in front of the base and just get in. And see for the wall, oh my god, I almost died. Broke my legs. I think I'm fine. I want to see what they have upstairs real quick. Nice, they have two cartridges. I was hoping to find the Jenny, but it's not here. I use the resources. Okay. Yeah, Dino Gates are always glitched. I'm using the resources of the base to cut myself from C4, and now I can blow the Jenny, which is right here in the middle. Hopefully, we get some crowds out of this. Mm, nice. We got some ARB. 600. 600 here as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got a lot of wyverns. This is so good. Finally, some profit. We got wyverns, turtles, trikes. So many teams. Let's go. Let's destroy this vault. There's one more vault right here. Let's see what it has. Hopefully something good. Okay, it has BPs, that's good. Nice. I got a few good BPs right there. Now let's drop the whole base. Now we need to soak this upper part and hopefully we can get in and see what we got. Let's finish blowing into this. Let's get some distance so we don't blow ourselves up. Boom, nice. Oh my God, there's a vault here. More crowd fridge profit again. Let's see, please. Oh, oh, this is amazing. We got Rexus, Theres, a Golem, holy, an RG, and we even got a Giga, nice. This was an insane raid, to be honest. We're back here again to Fob Hennigan, and he has a pump now, and he's pumping my wiring. So I'm gonna cry it next to the pillar. This is not good. I don't know he had a wyvern and I have everything imported on me. Yeah, I'm probably dead. 
It ended up in a stalemate. Nobody won. But that's fine. We can do this all again. In today's video, I will be going solo on MTS Beginners for the first time. I will also try to place bags in the back of Ice Cave. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoy and subscribe if you're new. Let's get it. I had to be very quick and gather the explorer notes in the area. Perfect. Free hide. Yummy XP. I placed a sleeping bag as well as a storage box. In case I died, I could start off with something. Let's see where I can place these sleeping bags without them getting found. Yeti, don't turn around, please. The anti mesh collision that the MTS has on sleeping bags and other structures made it pretty hard to place a hidden one. I'm not an expert either, so I went all the way to the back of the cave and decided to call it a day. The ice cave part was ready. It was time to do a little remote run and transfer to Genesis. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Hey, let's go. Oh, mean. I was on my way to transfer out at a drop when I found a free opportunity for metal. You know what, let's try to get a little more action. Oh no, this Bob's gonna take it. But he also had the same idea as me. He didn't even wait for it to smell, he just took the raw metal. He left right after he took it, and luckily I only put half of the metal expecting him to do that. All right, nice, I got enough metal, let's get out. Jesus Christ. I think I'll pass on that one. I transferred to Genesis and got a few glitches. Found the tree and started developing my base. A little bit of farming was required to make a complete one by one so that my resources could be a little safer. My base does need a cliff flat, so I'll be taking this on upload now. I'm gonna go to Extinction and get some crystal. Back to Genesis. Upgraded my base to wood and even got a fabricator. I even came up with the best 1x1 design ever. Next on my list was to get a Bloodstalker, so I went to the kits, I bought a Mind Wipe, and I put all my points into HP so that when I blood bag, I could get tons before having to respawn. Let me find me a Bloodstalker now. I didn't really find the Bloodstalker, but I did find the base that I kinda wanna raid, so I'm gonna go for it now with some grenades. Ah, oh, yikes, there's a Bloodstalker here already. And to my misfortune, forges were blocking my way inside. Trying to raid them without first getting a Bloodstalker was a huge mistake that I acknowledge at the moment, but I got very impatient. Anyways, time to get more blood bags. The search for a Bloodstalker this early into the wipe was even more painful than just getting blood bags. I was losing all the hope I had, and then suddenly... Oh! Speaking of which... Please be a high level. Level 15. It was a low level, but at least it would assist me taming others. Okay, that's a pretty nice amount of ingots, I'm gonna try to take as many as I can of those. I kept on looking for a Bloodstalker until I found this beautiful one at a 140 female. No way bro, somebody's actually shooting it. If he hits it, I'm gonna get dropped. Son of a bitch. I finally decided to go for my spot before somebody else was quicker than me, placed my cliff plat down, and decided to put a 1x1 one one along with the smithy and the forges. That was offensive, my guy. Holy, I see why he was mad. He had 209 blood bags on him. There's another guy here parachuting. Poor lad.
I hit him three times, guys. Huh, that's gotta hurt. Um, another guy. Come here, boy. Oh god, he's stuck. Not a good time to be stuck. <laughs> Evan the chat. He had no med bruise though, or blood bags rip. An easy way to get poly is to go to Crystal Isles and come to this bee cave where I usually get my honey and polymer. Ah, somebody died to the bees, I see. Poor lad. Go crazy. I went to AFK for a little bit to go eat, and when I came back, I checked tribe log, and this was what I expected. Rip, they C4 my entire beautiful one by one. Looks like I lost all the blood bags as well as the polymer I just formed. Doesn't seem like they left much behind, to be honest. No, 40 Bloodstalker, baby. Came to Valgro to take some PTs, but found some foes on the way. Hello, my friend. Oh. Please, why? Why? Why you do this to me, man? Keep me in. 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 Hello. Fuck off. Fuck off. What's up? Fuck off. I'm not tr I don't have my thing on. I don't have voice. Emian don't. I don't have voice, Emian. Sorry. Emian, I'm fucking naked. <laughs> Emian, I'm in hide. I'm in hide. Emian. I'm gonna fuck you then. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, Emian. Emian, <laughs> let's make it even. Get off the level 44 blood soccer. Come on, foot, foot, PvP. I've only got bolos and a fucking bow. You missed the pick. You're so terrible. Why would I trade you my Giga's last wipe for a fucking boots, PP? You fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Emian. Stop it, Emian. Fuck you, Emian. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Curiosity brought me to this purple drop, but it brought somebody else as well. Bro. Don't transfer yet, Damien. I need to transfer too. Damien, wait. I need to transfer. Yo, nice transfer. Damien, you despawned the drop. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Why would you despawn the drop? <laughs> hang on. My voice is not. Hang on, hang on. Nice fucking bear cave, kid. You're naked on the beach. Six hours into white. Nice bear cave. I feel bad for him, so I let him go. And I kept on minding my own business. Tamed the decent PT over here. Let's check the stats on it. Um... Insane food. Brought my PT to extinction. Set up to team a few Velanosaurs. Not only so I can breed them for a mission that gets me level 100, but also for Lava Golem. There we go. Let's put some mud in it. And tamed. Perfect. I came to Crystal Isles, a map that I usually love to come to to get an Anki and an RG, as I can find them easily. And I can avoid PvP as well, since I'm solo. Night, night, bit. While the RG is taming, I knock two birds with one stone by getting the Anki. Knocking it out. Let's hope our base is still up. Alright. The base was indeed still up. Now, a mission that I love to do solo is the Doad mission that's called Gotta Go Fast. It's near Volcano E, and it gives me good gear as well as 900 points when I'm done on Alpha. I was getting close to the end of the day, so I decided to check on Ice Cave and see if anybody had done any progress. And from the looks of it, there wasn't really much progress, nor did it seem like somebody had taken the ice. For level 100, I came to the mission hunting by Moonlight and Lunar, and decided to bring a Velo to finish yeah. the Giga. I'm insecure, I'm insecure. I mean, you have a big, big ledge to your left. Oh no, oh no. Anyways, I kept on moving, and I got the mission done. Level 95, which means I need to do it again. And then in the midst of doing the next mission, this happened. What? Meteor. What happened? A meteor fell on you. I proceeded to do the mission again and acquired level 100. Then, the base was in need of a fat metal run, so I came with an RG and Enki to blow up, only to find that there was a freaking base next to it. Oh my god, he's on. No. Boys, I mean, solo series is about to go down and.
Oh. Oh, he's gonna calm my RG, dude. I forgot to record the next clip, but basically another guy and an owl came. They found me and they Z'd my RG, comped it, like two shots. Rip, Jeremy, the RG. Let's far some meat. Yeah, I know the proper way to do this is with a pro cop, but I didn't have one at the time, which is probably something I should get soon. Bruh. What the fuck? Let's take care of this guy real quick. Rest in peace, my boy, Main Julian. Lots of freaking mud. While the pro cop was taming, I decided to come here to this famous spot to get some beaver dams. Round two. Pick them. See, spin them real quick. Bruh. Uh oh, that's not good. My boy brought assistance. Let's get the hell out of here. Oops, forgot I was recording and I kept the music on playing, so no arc audio on this clip. I figured before going to sleep, I should at least leave a turret. You know, makes pretty much common sense. Yeah, an auto turret is pretty lame for day one. But, because I don't live in a common spot, and I live in a spot that nobody knows, uh, I, I gave no fucks about my defense. I placed it on an auto, and I called it a day. In the last episode, we placed sleeping bags in the back of the ice and we started building on our new base location. In today's video, we're going to try to tame new stuff, progress the base, and just try to survive solo on MTS. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments if you subscribed. I'm missing quite a bit of light resources that I need to keep progressing the base, like wood, thatch, fiber, stone, and crystal. And as you can see, a pro cop on the lunar biome solves this issue very quickly as it can keep harvesting and moving while overweight. Let's go drop off the resources to that base. Five K crystal, not bad, especially since we're solo. Nine K stone, about six K wood, and sixteen K thatch. The base is in a need of an upgrade, including some heavies, indie forge, grinder, and a cam bench. So let's work on that. Let's TP to the bog area to farm some metal. Here we go. I am so lucky he had to reload. Regardless, the metal that I needed was farmed. I didn't bring my mining drill, so it wasn't much metal, but it's all I needed for now. An extra Bloodstalker would be very nice, you know, just in case my first one died. Found this level 100 out in the bog, decided to tame it. Got another Bloodstalker now, baby. I'm gonna TP now to Volcano and get some Black Pearls. After 5 minutes of chasing, for some reason, when I headed into the cave, they left me alone and now I can peacefully farm my black pearls. I went over to the small pit where magma swords sometimes don't spawn. Luckily, it didn't spawn so I can now farm my black pearls. I'm done farming them so let's TP out of here. The next resource on the list was polymer so I went to the ocean and killed some Hesperonis for polymer. While I was farming, I saw a guy TPing, so I decided to give him a vibe check. Don't do it! Right after that, I continued farming and got a decent amount of polymer. I paid a visit to small lunar. And, to my surprise, they had a little gift for me. Oh my god! 
The only problem that to get out, I had to knock myself out, or else I was trapped. That actually failed, so I had to try to TP out of the base. I really hope they didn't see it and didn't come out and kill me, but luckily I got out. After that, I decided to farm every single resource that I needed, including paste, metal, silica pearls, and oil. There we go! Our indie fort is crafted and placed. Let's place all of our metal in here. Yikes, we need to farm more later. Let's place the cam bench right next to it. I actually redesigned the whole base and brought everything from the bottom cliff plant to the top over here so it looks nice and I don't get damaged while I'm constantly at base. Usually people build on pillars in the ocean so I decided to come scout this one. There's a few autos and there seems to be only one guy at base so it shouldn't be too hard of a raid. I'd probably wait for this guy to TP away and then I'd go for it. I'm gonna place some sleeping bags here so I can respawn quickly. Let's put the rest of my kit here so I don't lose it. I'm gonna go from this side since I can use the Wyvern and the Stego to LOS. My flag is doing pretty good. That really sucks because my rocket launcher basically didn't work, so I'm gonna have to do it again now. Let's craft a rocket launcher and a few rockets, as well as a spare flag set. I'm very lucky because from the looks of it, the guy is still not back at base. Let's place a few more sleeping bags and go at it again. Alright, that was pretty bad, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to go back and repair my flak, to be honest. I went back to base, repaired the flak, and uploaded myself in the cloud, and decided to spawn in a sleeping bag, which was the worst mistake I have made in my life. What I didn't know is that sleeping bags actually have timers, and you can't respawn on one that's in the same location or close to it in less than a minute. You have to wait like a minute or two. And this was my worst mistake. Here's why. Perfect, I took down the turrets, now all I had to do was respawn and get to it again with my bloodstalker and kill him, except I couldn't, because of the cooldown. After waiting 2 minutes to be able to respawn, it had been too much. The bloodstalker was killed, and my bags were destroyed. I'm here in the stall for Arion Extinction to farm some condensed gas so that later I can craft batteries for my heavies that I will be placing inside the BB cave. I was on my way to transfer out. Well, another Jeremy bites the dust. Rest in peace. Where was that tower though? All right, I got everything that I need to go into the BP cave, so let's get it. Bro, there's a guy chasing me. Nice, I'm getting 2v1 by a saber. Since he took my only weapon and I had a lot to lose, I decided to get the hell out of here and throw out my Tusa. The blueprint cave can be found at 1840. There are two drops outside of the cave and right now nothing good. But I'm not going to get it because I'm going to go for a Lopluridon. I'm going to feed it honey. And hopefully when I come back with the increased luck buff, I'll be able to get something better. Found one. 
They're actually pretty rare. There's only two on the map, but if you know where they spawn, you can find them easily. They're usually at the top and the sides of the map. You can search up on a wiki, they're spawn on Crystal Isles. Not only do I get increased luck, but for six hours, I also get a chowder effect. Nice, we got a chest BP. Let's check the dura on that. 500 durability. Now, that's kind of expensive, but the best part about getting BPs is that we don't need to keep it for ourselves. We can sell it and get much more profit. I'm gonna head inside the cave now, but don't forget to upload important BPs. Wait, there's a guy and a dolphin. He's so lucky I didn't find them earlier. Now it's practically impossible for me to kill him here. Alright, no BP, but at least we got a nice pump. Time to head into the cave. Don't forget to have your flak on. You don't want to go in there with boots or scuba, or you'll get one touched by a heavy. That heavy was pretty well placed, but I managed to survive by going straight to the top really quick. Losing focus for one second on the BP cave could send you back to the gulag. But all we gotta do is tame a dolphin, then tame a tuso, and we can go back to the BP cave. Perfect. I got a decent journeyman shotgun BP that I'll be trading for nine heavies. And that's just a baby step as to how I get rich as a solo. Since I died last time in the cave, I had to craft new batteries and I have to go charge them now on extinction. Somebody's doing this mission, so I can't TP, I need to find them. Sorry, broski. You know how the story goes though, I charge the batteries, I come to Crystal Isles, and I get going with the BP cave. This time I brought a 1x1 one one on me, which is a smart thing to do, so I could just respawn here and not have to run all the way over here again. A Giga Saddle and a Tropio BP. I'll take the Giga Saddle, but I'll leave the Tropio BP. What follows, viewer discretion is advised, this is the most annoying thing you could ever see. The plan is to bait people into this drop, thinking that there's nobody here, and I'll leave my bat heavy here on low. Sooner or later, somebody with flippers will try to get the drop, and they'll die almost instantly. Then I'll come, kill whatever they came on, and steal all their loot. The way I know if somebody died is that I constantly check my tribe log, and once that goes purple, I know somebody died. A few minutes later, boom, my plan worked. Swizz is now my first victim. Let's see what we got here. Look at him right there, poor guy. She had a wyvern on him, Metabruce as well, very nice. His Tuso had an ascended saddle as well, so now I'm even more OP. Don't forget to clear the crime scene. This time, I was more careful and found the heavy before I, you know, before it found me. So now, with this good saddle, I'll soak it and then I'll be able to get the drop. I think it's soaked, let me just double check. Yeah, it's so nice. A few minutes later, I found somebody passing by an Abasido, and it's not a great idea to bring one. You're better off in a dolphin, since these things are so slow. I had killed the guy earlier, but I'm trying to find this body, and I really just couldn't find it. I gave up on the body, and I started soaking the heavy he placed. Let's check out what was on the Bassy. Got a nice saddle, a shotgun BP, Deoron. Flat gauntlet's BP as well. He had a good amount of ARB, two more comps, and even a heavy. By the way, the gauntlet's BP is Apprentice and 500 Dura, which is uh, insane. Um, Actually, that's not pretty good at all. Um, I've gotten 700 Primitive Gauntlet's BP. Uh oh! 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 Would you look at that, another guy in a Basilo, caught lacking. Fortunately, he had enough time to get here, and my Tuso just couldn't block it. I was roaming around, and then I checked tri blog. Dum, dum, dum. Another one bites the dust. Sadly, not much in his inventory. All this for just a pair of gauntlets. Let's see what we can get from this drop.
Flag du bébé. Boots. Oh non. Um, how do I take care of this? Um, fucked up, right? No, not at all. Wow. Dismount and whistle? Maybe? Should have done that from the beginning. Wow, bro. Of all the ways that thing dies. I had no Tusa, but no Tusa, no problem. I came back on a dolphin, found another guy on a dolphin. I just finessed him out of a good fat BP. This was only the beginning of the solo trading market I have made just from farming BPs at the BBK. But sometimes even trading can go wrong. So that we could continue our trade peacefully, I had to get rid of him. Okay, that was quick. I arranged the place to meet him so that we could finally trade. Only to find out that there was another guy at this drop. And the poor guy I was trading with died to dire wolves. The trade went on for so long that eventually we gave up and we postponed it for later. But now I did another trade. And this one I get beta Rockwell. <laughs> I just know you ain't gonna fuck one of them. <laughs> okay, I got Everyone it. Everyone in? Oh god. Yeah. Spread out, Whoa. spread out. Spread out. We done it! <laughs> yeah. I, I, I killed this! I killed this! The next boss fight on the list was Beta Valguero. This goes to show how BB farming and trading can get you pretty far as a solo, especially since it's only day 3. Uh, is everyone yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. here too. You need to cry I'm Bob to Merano. Uh, we have a problem. You have to. What? 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 We need two more Tyran and top, 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 Oh, we need <laughs> Why are we always retarded? After that little um, tribute scarcity mistake, we came back to another drop, this time with all the tributes, and started the boss. How is it so bad? Nice, nice, good. I also yeah. monkey, 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 monkey now. No more one to say. And women of production. By the way, I made a pretty cool video talking about the economics in the movie Captain America. For that boss fight, I traded a BP, a Fabi BP. Enjoy your BP. The base wasn't doing so bad, but we still needed to upgrade and get some techs as well as a Broodmother fight. And so, I did what I do best. I did another trade for a Broodmother fight, the Alpha one, to get tech turrets. Really? Where are you? Uh, we go to the yellow drop. He said go to the yellow drop, and I heard him instantly, so I got ahead of everyone and went to it. The early bird gets the worm, it's never fit so perfectly. Yeah. Let's start oh, guys, okay. it's on 20. I, I got a 300 throw flag chest with you right now. I'm not drop. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> well, we don't need one. What? I think all is fine. <laughs> Easy flag BP. Easy flag BP, boys. Wait, how did, did you get a one, Wait, did you get a flag BP? Wait, did you get a flag BP from the drop? Wow. I had to go in Gabriel's pouch since I've never done the jump. But Gabriel was struggling. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. Let me, let me get out. Gabriel, let me get out. Let me get out. Let me get out. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> what the? Hell? This is stuff. Oh. I'm yeah, shooting it. Complete. Oh, who the hell is Kanga? Oh my you got god. It. You got it. You got no, Imian. Oh, Jack, I can't do anything. I'm going for you, Jack. Jack. Imian! Ah! Jesus. Jerky, what are you doing? No, Jesus. What? Jesus. Man. You know, this guy is nice not dying right now. Jesus, Jesus. I'm in, I'm in. I'm... We did it. Wait, wait. Go, go. I have another crowd. Okay, wait. No, no don't move. Don't move. No, wait, wait. Don't! Don't Guys, this is fucking Let's go. And just under two minutes, we finished the boss. And a half minutes. Hey. Oh, okay. They didn't care about the alley, so I took it and turned it into dust, got my BP, and headed back to Genesis. I farmed bits of Polly, and you know that every time I farm Polly, I scout pillars around me, and like the curious little George that I am, I walked up this pillar, and guess what I found? 
Well, hello there. A base being built, I see. There's one heavy inside, and a fabricator, and a smithy. My plan is to place some sleeping bags here, and go get the proper kit to run this, come back, and raid it. I didn't see that vault. Looks like I'll need to bring an Arthur as well. Until now, this has been pretty disappointing. I noticed that they also had a 1x1 and their render timer was 13 minutes. So I figured, why not place the C4 trap over here where he'll probably spawn at. Maybe with some nice stuff. Wow, a Bloodstalker and a Mining Drill. That's pretty good. Let's TP out of here now. There's one guy above me. Look at him right there. I'm going to try to kill him. And now he's outside. Okay. Nice. He ended up going underneath the ramp and thought he was safe. Too cocky for his own good. All I had to do was TP and come back. Now I had the Arthur on me. I set up the Bloodstalker on the corner on aggressive in case anybody came inside. While timer was going down, I decided to give, you know, the vault a few tries with the code. Not much really, but a decent amount of structures as well as a bit of Ellie dust. Right before I could loot it, they came back, so I had to take care of them. Until finally, I was left in peace and could TP away. Now here's an interesting part. I thought I was coming to my base, and suddenly I realized this wasn't my base, but just another base that I could raid. I felt so safe here that I even went AFK. I had to go back and quick as I had a Bloodstalker crowd in my inventory and tons of loot.
To my fortune, he was still encumbered with all the loot. And since he typed GG while I was AFK, you sure bet I typed GG back. I believed the guys at the Ocean Pillar so much that I went as far as to joke around and act like the Alpha, tell them they had to pay taxes. I didn't actually go through with this though because I felt quite bad. I actually got a cooker, a fridge, and I even started building my own little farm so that I could get soups. To get the crops growing, I had to get on a toilet and since I was solo, I had to repetitively flush poop, flush poop. Fun. Shut up Anuel, I have to give the guys the base tour. So now the crops are growing and as you can see, I got some beer barrels going as well for some beer. We had all the engrams we needed for tech, but we still needed to farm that early. Thanks to trading with some friends, I got a tech rep because I had no Ellie here. And now I could craft element from the shard that I farmed. And obviously, you know, tech rep on Thatch Foundation. Balance. Let's pull for the tech transmitter now. Perfect. Like always, my trading kept on carrying me, as now I got three staggles, a mate boost as well, for a pump BP, and a Tusu BP. Here you go, my friend. Can't believe I was farming with the Hesperonis thing for such a while. This is definitely the best way, or if not the second best way of farming Polly. I went back to base, and now I had all the resources I needed to craft a few techs to defend the base even better. In today's video, me and 9 other YouTubers start fresh on a server hosted by ArcLife. Our server is private, but has the same settings as ArcLife's Trio cluster for PC and PlayStation. Link down below in the description. Only difference is, we are solo. It was this naked guy here. Free kill, first kill? Let me tell you what's going on. We're all solo on a 10x server, no cave building allowed, no hard INIs, and the only map we have is Island. Let's see how far it can go against 9 other YouTubers. Are you using cloth armor already? Cheat. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I swear I saw you. You've already got tools. The reason Judas is calling this out is because we were all supposed to just come to Red Up, meet up, and then start. But that went a little bit to, you know, shit. Yeah, cool. yeah. You mean well, I can see your fucking nose hair? Look. <laughs> I'm spikeless. Keep an eye on Simplex as he later becomes my biggest enemy of the server. <laughs> <laughs> I leveled auction, so I'm. Guys, uh, level 32. Uh, okay, buddy. I make the hats. My name is Judas. I'm insecure. I make the uh, hats. I need, to, I need to be higher level than everybody before starting, or I'm not gonna win. I do it. You ready? <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> <Hello. laughs> let's just fucking start, folks. Is he uh, being rats? Bye. Let's just start. Yeah. Hi, rats. See you later, rats. Just start, okay? And just like that, we launched. My plan was to fall in the West 3, you know, a little bit up further by the snow. Unlucky, I spawned over here. Somebody was ahead of me, I guess. I had to change the course of my direction because, you know, I, I forgot I have to do a note run. I haven't done it. Starting from scratch had its difficulties. Oh, there's shooters on me. I'm dead. On the bright side, my new spawn was exactly where I wanted. A few minutes later, I noticed somebody coming right towards me from the distance with a torch. I'm coming. Yeah, pull up. No bolas. If you want to earn my respect, don't use bolas. Stop it. Stop it. Who is this? Hey, you wanna get the... You're gonna... The winner gets the pump, AP. I got my PT already, Hip, I'm coming. You're not... Yeah, you can come here and help me, but... Nah, no, nah, no, I'm good. He might have been low, but since he put me at half HP from one hit, I decided to pass on that one. Who did I just fight? The Hattosphere. <laughs> that was me, where are you? Bro, I hate- you hit me once, 20 HP. I'm like, okay buddy, see you later. 20? Yeah. Nah, not 20, but I was like half HP from one hit. I mean, honestly, you could ask you, him if you the gamma thing off, because it's really AIDS. Judas was complaining about the gamma. We couldn't change our gamma, gamma 1, gamma 5 for more brightness, which is something that is fixed later. So, for now, when it's dark, it's dark. I died to PvE again, and if I didn't start concentrating, I wouldn't even be up to pace with the other guys. So it's time to focus. After just a few minutes, I got my stuff together, I had my shield, my hide, my bolas, and I found the water pestle that Vitality had left behind. So I decided to destroy it, hopefully profit of it. I don't know how I'm trying to... 
the raft. It was just a bit of spoiled meat, which is nice, and the server was now gonna shut down in a minute so that we could finally fix the gamma issue. Right before the shutdown, I found Twonk, and I started chasing him till he logged off. Just to troll him, I took a screenshot and sent him the image, but I didn't actually take his stuff because I felt bad, and it would be unfair. During the shutdown, me and Vansimo did a chess 1v1, and I won, of course. He? No, he did not. He died, though. No, 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 but Twonk, yo, body looking thick, dog. Anyways, I went my own direction. I got my mortar and pestle, crafted some narcotics, so then I could go and team my PT. On my way to team my PT, I found the Speronis, which is quite lucky, so that I could get some organic polymer. Cool me off, so I have to drink less water. Found the level 50 PT, and with Island being low levels, I had to just tame it, continue moving on with my day, hopefully find a better PT later. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, what <laughs> 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 level are you? <laughs> 90, this, this. Mario, fuck. Now, I needed to go team an RG and find a place to start on. On my way to finding a starter, I found the level 95 Patera, which is quite the improvement from my level 50. I went up here and said, mm, too cold. All right, perfect. Now I have two PTs. Got my starter down somewhere in north too. The trap that raided us. A Parasaur was a quick tame, helpful for berries, and it could also detect enemies before they get to me, so quick tame. He almost got sent to the Gulag really quickly, except the direwolves decided to follow me, and Ark decided to be nice. Oh. That's your level, Shadi. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what made that wolf have mercy for the Parasaur, but I appreciate it. Quickly, I got my smithy down, crafted myself some flak, a pistol, I was on the grind time. I put some cords on the map so I didn't forget where my base was, and I went out to look for an RG. I would have liked to play that, but I got white. <laughs> Same, hey, my keep would never play it, and then... Like, I carried the vibe sort of... Amy, you want to rebuild on, uh, me? Give See, me stuff, joke. or I shoot you in face. I don't. Oh. I had found Vitality on Meadow Mountain, but I decided to be chill and not go for the fight. Body, yes. But I kinda did pickpocket him, like a pego. Liberally, superiorly. Yeah. Guys, poor boy. Truly agree. Oh, luck, man. guess who's done? My fucking Anki, mate. The, the Anki's it mid? Yes. Things want the fuck. <laughs> Dropping oh, saber to the kill what the fuck? Oh, what? What? I just slumped. Oh my, the PTI was on right now, just died. <laughs> but like... Did, did it die uh, instantly? Yeah. Dude, that's I'm how broke. mine died. I, mine died, actually. Wait, I have a PT10, but I don't know where it is. I think it is in Redwood. I didn't even hear it getting hurt, nothing. It's just... I left my RG in like sky border and I can't go out with my PT to look for PvP. I found Chantico, but sadly, I had an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to make a refresh and put my queen on. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot I was. What did I find? I can't even spyglass into this shitty ping. Chantico. Hehe, <laughs> 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 boy, are you dead, boy? Did you find him? Bro, you're not filling up here, England. You don't want no war right now, okay? Be smart, think about it. Yeah, man, like my ank is gonna want to be 500 I didn't actually take the fight because of how high my ping was, but Chantico does become another main enemy later on, so keep an eye on him as well. From hearing Hippo's and Simplex's conversations, I knew that they were somewhere in the snow, and I had a good idea that one of them would be in this spot. You right now. Oh, you're going to swing? Cause you don't wanna come. You're an estrogen. Okay. <laughs> you want me to kill you or? Hey, how do you want to have my beat you? It's a good job, Ken. <laughs> oh. oh, one, two. Wait, are you guys actually fighting? If you gave me like 20 minutes, then yeah. 
Nice 15 minutes, by the way. Nice fight. I'm dead. Me and Chitiko did get into beef later, but he did help me at the beginning, goes without saying. He took me up to the sky border where I had left my RG since it was my only uh, flyer left. And like that, I was able to get my RG faster. I mean, you can be smart and be loved before you do stuff, or you can be Thank dumb you. like Amy and then just go PvP and lose everything. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That is very true. But, you know, I was just clowning around. RG was coming in very pog as I was able to farm some oil. A good amount of polymer as well. And in a very risky fashion, I got a few pearls just to get some turrets up. Temple. <laughs> nice turret, Temple. Oh, hell no. Hey, fuck, I'm not, I'm not gonna die again. Due to the cold, I was very low HP, and I was actually really afraid of fighting since I could probably get one tap to the head. I picked a random Anki, and I started knocking it out for metal and stone and flint. I pretty much had farmed everything that I needed to craft some turrets and a base. The last thing I needed was paste. The fastest way of getting this was taming a bug, slapping a saddle on it, and killing bugs. Before men. A fucking Perlovia, bro. Are you kidding me, bro? Wait, I can tame this. Babuga. <gasps> and so I continued running in circles, trying to knock the damn Perlovia out. Luckily, it was a low level, so it was a pretty easy tame. Emian, how will you take it back? You have frog and Porlovia. You're dealing with a pro here, guys. I did so many things that I didn't even include in the video, like going to a drop and crafting cryopods. I'm just built different. I only had one PT, so I found a high level PT and decided to tame it, because I had to get my PT game up. After being super undecisive and having no clue where to build, I placed a starter on the volcano. Um, I didn't plan anything out, which is why I was struggling to find the starter. But here we are, we got a Fabricator up, we got a Perlovia where we'll keep our important stuff, and we'll just, you know, be goaded at PvP if we have to fight anybody. The Perlovia would ensure that if I got wiped, I at least had some teams to start up again very easy. I also put my resources in there as I can pull from it. In front of my base was Ice Cave, and in front of Ice Cave was the Brown River, which actually had pearls underneath that I could easily farm. My Perlovia was low key getting very thick. Metal is super important in early game since you need it for everything. Forges are really slow at smelting metal, but 24 forges equals energy forge. So I went on and crafted 24 refining forges. In glass, uh, poor for four. Also, the energy forge is so slow. Like I'm, I can't even craft the fucking thing. Yeah, die was just flying in the middle of nowhere. I was building a one by one where I would be able to put my first two heavy turrets. Let's go guys. Boom. Unrateable boys. I had to make a quick pit stop to the swamp and gather some plant X. We were only allowed to place 10 since there were no flame arrows. So had to get 10, put some crop plus down my base would be more defended. On my way back, I found a pretty high level Stego. Not too high level, but it was also a female. Ah, it's a Dalek Leo. Holy <laughs> shit, that was Literally. fucking... If there's one thing I learned today, is that Dalek Leos have determination. I let it away, and then later on... I mean, so do I, because I had to start clubbing the Stego since I ran out of tranks. AdSense. My name is Chantico. And I have AdSense. I let it away once again. Oh no, you gotta be fucking kidding. I let it away again. But like, what the fuck are you gonna do now? I, I shield? Bro, you no. gotta be fucking oh, kidding me, bro. Oh, that little fire. Too old or shit, by the way. So. Yeah. I finally got rid of the Stego. I mean, uh, no, I knocked out the Stego. Got rid of the Tyler. And... Yeah, I realized that was a low five. You're probably curious to know the, um, the Stego is taming currently at 54 HP. Once back at base, I decided to get a toilet, start pooping, get some fertilizer to grow crops and plant X. There were a lot of RGs in my area, so I decided to make a trap, and every time that I found one, lead it in, drank it really quickly, as I needed one constantly in case they got killed. Now that I have enough metal smelted and paste, I started pre-crafting the base, getting it ready. It was later revealed as well that Chantiqua was actually pretty close to my base, so I had to keep an eye out for him. Wow, who's that on PT? 1v1? Huh? Oh, 1v1? Is that you on PT? Yeah. Oh, 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 o
All right, that, that server looks. shuts down in 60 seconds. Ah, oh, don't worry. This will be wrapped up very quickly. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Immy and Dian. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna put my tools away because you know, nah, it's kind of valuable right now. <laughs> nah, I'm killing you. 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 I'm killing <laughs> do you know how many bullets in your throat? He has heavies. Oh. I don't care, I got BPs with absolutely everything in that PT. Oh wait, that was my good PT. Crap. <laughs> L. I don't think there was anything on it. They might have oh, actually dude. been like a heavy on that PT, I can't lie. You guys do be living close. Indeed we were close, and this was only the beginning of my rivalry with Chantico. If I wanted to keep PvPing, I would now need Mebrus, as HP was lost very quickly due to no fortitude. Came to kill a few penguins, just so I could get an extra bit of polymer. Came to check out Simplex's progression on the base. Looked pretty decent. He had a little turret tower as well outside. I also came to check out Chantico's base, and something was just off about it. He had an Indy Forge on top of it, and it just seemed like something I could probably wipe. El fuerte, you should have come. And if you pick me, then Simplex is going to aimbot you. Teaming, teaming, dile ban, ban, teaming ban, so you man. Teaming ban, you ban right, for teaming. I'm trying to help Simplex. I am literally trying to help Simplex and you. Okay. Better. Good teaming. Earlier, uh, my friend Mike got teamed on by Simplex and Hippo. Um, Hippo was getting like uh, bullied by two different people, so I guess that was kind of like targeting slash teaming. So we don't really care. We were having fun on our server, so don't take anything here too serious and don't like have any um backlash towards any YouTuber. We're just all having fun here. Easy popcorn, easy popcorn. Qué cringe. Mira, ya está, te viene el simplex. No puede ser, no puede ser. No, no puede ser. No puede ser. Ya está, ahí me Ah, pero que es esto, loco. Mata el trainia, mata el trainia. Se ha muerto el joven empedrado. I did get a little mad when that happened, but um, according to them, it was just a pure coincidence. So I I don't really care. Again, just having fun. But it's fine because this is where the rivalry begins, and this is where I will eventually get revenge. While Chantico's base was in the back of my head, I came over to this little ice cave where there's one drop that spawns, and you could possibly get some BPs. Unfortunately, when I got here, there were no drops available at the moment. When I got back to my base, I decided to go on foot to Chantico's base and see if the LOS was enough to raid him. First, I found the spot to leave the rest of my kit. I put a bag down, an item cache, and I should be back within 15 minutes or five minutes. And just like that, I was in. There wasn't really a lot, but there were ingots that I wanted to pick up, so I went back to get my orgy. I also had to get the ARB from his heavies. His mortar and pestles were also pretty good. Had a bunch of spark and gunpowder. I was very happy and all of a sudden, came back.
Wow, so you blow and then run. Yeah, I was not going to take my chances in a 1v1 RG fight with all his loot on me. So I went back to base and later came back and talked to him. Emin ruling with an iron fist? Fuck. Hey, stamina. Why? Oh, Did you not notice? Sat there waiting for me to leave and then do that. You could shock on it, that's gonna do a lot. I guess. Oh, nice one. Nice. I think he's dead. Pick up the Indy. He couldn't pick up the Indy Forge because it wasn't repaired. So I went to get the resources to repair it. I came back, helped him. He picked it up. He also gave me the metal in the forge. The only reason I left it because I actually remembered that he helped me at the beginning. So I felt bad and, you know, didn't actually just destroy it. Now I'm getting my crops ready so I can start making cakes later. And as you can see, I got a two by two ready. Cause I got heavies on each side. I didn't know I, it was Christmas yeah. already, Simplex. Like, yeah. Christmas. I'm gonna fucking tap you. I'm gonna call, come play straight in no, line. No, no, I'm gonna no, tap you. No, 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 leave the video alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying outside my base when I found Simplex, and I was hoping I could finally get my revenge. Shut up. Ah, Simplex, Simplex, Simplex. I'll just go back to there's, the game. There's again. Simplex. Yeah. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> Bad peeker. What? Bad. <laughs> Are you fighting? <laughs> you missed. I'm crafting, I just realized. <laughs> Look at this. Pop. 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 Let me craft at least. Pop. Okay, monkey. Oh, he has a fabby though! Probably a pistol you really but, ah. <laughs> but what I wasn't counting on is that now he had a 220 shotgun BP and he had a shotgun for it as well. And it, it, it doesn't go very well against Print Flag. So my revenge would have to wait. Now I wanted to PvP another YouTuber. His name was Twins. He was currently at his base, so I decided to camp him and wait for him to come out. He went out, he was headed for the snow, but not yet would I attack him. He's too close to his base. He's also too close to the water. I'll wait for the perfect conditions to fight him and then attack. Seems like he came to scout Hippo and this is exactly when I chose to fight. We were fighting above water, so I shouldn't have even tried to fight him, but I was just desperate for PvP. I was also below half HP and only had two grapples, and if they glitched, which they did, I was dead. So basically, he had a great pick, and I died. But I was perfectly fine with it, because I always get revenge, and I was gonna get it right now. When I came back, he hadn't even looted my body, so I had a chance to try to loot it. He was right in front of me, so I had to wait till I picked him, dropped him, and then I could item cash pull my body. Uh, yeah, after it cooked me, it's really nice too. Yeah. What? 
I noticed the aloe pack behind me and I found a solution to this problem. Oh. Nah, that's fucking feeding the human to a shark. And just like that, I had revenge on twins, Chantiquo, and I was just missing Simplex. He was that one empty void in me that I had to complete. The farming kept on going for another day. The base kept on progressing. And finally, I had found Simplex. We we're gonna go at it once again. But this time, I was aware of his very deadly weapons. I was close, my I tried having him midair, but I forgot my name is not Luca or Golfie. Not gonna lie, some part of my body got very tight, so I got back at my PT. I hadn't even realized that I had bowled him mid C spin. Yeah, I don't think I would have ever killed him with this Fabi. And finally, I had my revenge. I killed the goddamn RGs and then looted the rest of the body. And then, a few minutes later, I would settle my revenge for good. No, el pepper is Carlos. <laughs> they dropped an anky on your base. Yeah, they gave up. Carlos, Carlos, sabes que el pepper estaba. Me lo has me base. El este el trainer bot tiene tenía chi chi. Me lo ha dicho este su colega. Ha cuitado el simplex. Le está tirando todos los dinos a Limian. Limian, mátale entera, corre, mátale entera y se cae Limian, corre. Vaya mono. This me run. Eres más gay, Mian. Hostia. I never do outros, but if there's something that this video can teach you, is that sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. But remember, you can always get your revenge. <laughs> Alright, so the ping is. Oh, the ping is gonna be good. It's when you're in the menu, guys, I learned that it's actually higher. So when I spawn in, it's going to be lower ping. So let's spawn where the May Wings spawn. Let's just go take May Wings right off the bat. Right here. When did Mesa wipe? Mesa's going to wipe December 9th. It wiped like two, 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 three weeks ago. It's wiping December 9th. I'm alone by myself right now, but Danae is my friend IRL and he's going to be joining me. The game's too loud. He's going to be joining me on this Small Tribes uh, startup. And I think it's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of content to have. We're going to do a lot of raids. And on the side, we'll be playing Mess Arc and Arc Pock. That's what we're going to do on the side. Let's just keep running. I'm trying to find the lakes where the Maywing spawn. I could tame that monkey, but taming here is probably really low rate. Let's see how, much, how long it takes for a monkey. Way too long. No, thank you. Thank you to today's sponsor, Nukem Democraft, a server that just wiped. They have a $1,000 cluster offer reward. It is on Windows 10. They got 25x harvest, active admins, community events, and many more things like custom caves. They are a really good Windows 10 server. Join it now. Link in the description. And thank you guys for sponsoring this video. That's that's a metal node, and that's a terror bird. Okay. Screw the metal node. Fall, fall. Oh, well, I'm falling. And he's falling. We're all falling. Don't take fall damage. Oh, that's a Tyler. Okay. Nice. Nice place to fall on. Yeah. Out of all places I could fall, I fall right where a Tyler is. That's that's nice. We can get silk here, actually. So I'm going to try to get it. This, these bushes give silk. There we go. You see? I'm, I'm a professional at this game. Oh, but that tree doesn't give stuff. Got it. Okay, so a pickaxe. Oh, nice. So now I don't have the pickaxe, Engram. So that means... That I can't craft it. So that means that we need to die again. Ark. Dodo, your new name is now Perksy. And you come with me. What the hell is in? Oh, God. Perksy.
A sacrifice for the gods to give me the pickaxe engram back. <laughs> and I will be in a better place now, Perksy. Oh, sh oh, sh sh oh. So, oh, oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So, Perksy. Ow. Oh, Perksy, fight him! Kill that! Why did I die? Perksy donated five dollars. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's too late, Perksy. Pickaxe by any chance? Hey, we got the pick. The sacrifice worked. The sacrifice has worked. Maybe there's loot in here. Flint. I could have had a flint. Charcoal. We could take some of that. More charcoal. Oh. That's a nice bit of fiber right there. Let's go. Some hide as well. Let's grab this rune. A15. Okay. I don't know. It took me too long to realize, but I'm, I'm wasting my time. I'm better off in a gen 2, let's be honest. What am I doing here? Actual clown activities. Let's get out of here. Oh, I kept most of my stuff. Now that's mavings. Let's just go and farm drops now. Are those turrets on that transmitter? No. Let's check that out. This could be interesting. Anything? Nope. Nothing. What do we get? Some obsidian is nice, I guess. What is this? Why is there so much fur? White drop. White drop. Hype. Hype for the white drop. Hype. What do we get? Jesus. A capped Uranio saddle. Alright, so we got 250 boots now. We got legs. Okay. We got a map. Jeez. Nothing besides a black base. These Gallimimus are almost too happy in this pillar and safe. It's almost as if I have to come here and disrupt this piece. Get the hell out of here. Let's go to that white drop right there that I see. Wait, where the hell did the drop go? Hello? Drop? Somebody take it. Did somebody take my drop? No way. We have competition, guys. That has to be somebody on the stream, no? No shot. Hello? He's cheating. It's a cheater. Dude, that's a cheater. Great welcome to Smalls, I guess. Hasn't even been a few minutes. <laughs> I haven't collected a few drops yet, and I'm already seeing cheaters. <laughs> so funny how in it's so he's so innocent, too. He's like trying to kill me and he just like <laughs> He started punching the air. That's it. That's all he did punch the air So if I take this drop if he tries to go for it, I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna take the other one, too So let's see what he does. I'm landing right on it almost Why is the hacker on a low pop server though, so that I don't get Also, can we break the oh shit. Oh shit. He's going mad. Look at him. I might kill him. I killed him. This guy's. This guy's is just a different breed at this point. Oh my! Kid! Thanks for the boost. This guy's an absolute brick. I got Ellie on the server now. And for. What a brick. I got a cryo. This guy's a brick. Absolute. <laughs> what a bricked individual. Well, thank you, I guess. Good thing I went for the kill, because when you don't have much to lose, you might as well fight, right? This guy just gifted me everything. Some decent stuff. What a G. He gave me a metal one, right? Pretty sure. 1,500. I'm going to get like 500 ingots. Holy. Something like that. I don't know how much you get. A third, I think. I think it's a third. Four Ellie. Oil. Very much needed. We don't even have to farm metal anymore because we're can, we're just gonna demo it. In fact, I'm gonna demo it now. One K ingots, just like that. Jesus, that Maywing saddle. That's a nice Maywing saddle. I mean, the game is just playing for us at this point. Beaver dams. We need those. We need those. We need those. We need some paste. I don't think we have paste yet. Oh, we might have some from the Behe gate, but.
Dude. Yes. Yes. Let's go. We got it. No, 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 Stay down. Stego, please just leave. Like, why are you here, man? Screw away. Oh, wait, the sheeps are there. We'll tame it instantly like this. Sorry, sheep. Just, just business. One raw mudden. Let's get a few pieces and this thing is tamed. Didn't take too long. It was a bit annoying though. Alright, this thing is tamed, baby. I didn't name it Bunk. There we go. It's named Bunk. Bunk will be proud and happy now. Slap the saddle on it. Oh, it cannot carry me. I think we're just gonna have it leveled up. Let's cry it. We're gonna have it get levels in my inventory. That's the best solution. Bet you didn't know about this one. There we go. Okay, am I even going to be able to spawn in here? It's the real question. Oh, well. It's obstructed. That is tough. This is editing Immune over here. I was able to lower the foundations using a pillar. I didn't show it in the clip because I didn't clip it. But yeah, that's how I managed to get a bed down. Now gritty. What is that, bro? I don't know what that is. I'm not familiar with the term. Now gritty. What do you mean by that? Bro, I can upgrade from a, a campfire to the tech jumpo. Yes, sir. Actually, if I demo that, I can't demo it. We need to get stone and we also need to get crystal. Let's just do that right, right quick. Can I place this in here? Of course I can. Let's demo all of this. Jesus Christ. We can make an indie already. We could easily make an indie with a bit more oil. Yeah, we're going to have to store this over here. We're going to get our crystal, no matter what. One way or the other. There's our crystal. There you go. You see? You see, it's not that big of a deal after all. Let's get our crystal now. There we go. Oh, yeah. 36 crystal, baby. Let's just farm all this crystal. We'll be able to make our fabricator and more. Damn. 234 of each. That has to be some sort of record. I think I'm ready to go back to base now. We got what we came out for. Let's go, guys. If you watch Curtis, get ready for that mess of sponsor on his next two videos. Mess are going to get popped this wipe for real, for real. Spark. Let's make our fabricator. Oh, we do need to make a forge for gas. Fabricator. Holy. God is sent. All right, so we do need to make a forge because we need gas. Buy gas. I'd rather save the points. Gas is pretty expensive anyways. In real life and in arc. That there is perfect. Never mind. Well, that's what, that'll work. Let's put some hide in there. Let's get some oil. Oil. Perfect. Good progress. Good progress. Let's go farm. Let's just go farm drops. All right, let's just get drops and we need a level weight in this thing. Do the work. I feel like we're going to die. I have to be careful, man, but I feel like I'm going to hit some turrets. We live in a simulation. We live in a simulation. This world is not real. <laughs> This world is lying to us every day of our lives. 
We can tame another maiming tomorrow. It's fine. That clip was way too good to even be mad. I, I, I can't even be mad, to be honest. A second did not pass, and I was dead. All right, let's grab this drop real quick. Red drop. That, that is, it seems like this should give good stuff. I don't know how good they are, though. Let's see. Four attack ceiling and, like, two black pros. I mean, that's pretty trash, but it looks promising, at least. Let's go to the next one. That's a lot of boxes. Interesting. Okay, and these boxes aren't empty. Oh. 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 It gets better and better. 2K Ellie? I'll take that. <laughs> Streamer loot. You see, I had to die. It was part of... It was part of the process. No duh. 300 ingots. We have a bunch of ingots, but more the merrier. Wow, this guy right here is a G. This guy hooked us. Let's break the best just for satisfaction. There we go. That's awfully weird. For that many boxes just to be chilling there. Let's take this back to base. We definitely will make use of this Ellie. For sure. It's stuck on this map, but it's on this map at least. Right? Let's go back to base. That's nice. I mean, Curtis collab would be sick. We could get that in the future. We get along. We don't hate each other. Like me and 90% of the other YouTubers. I mean, I don't hate any of them. To be honest. I don't really care. But they they obviously obsess over me. So don't think they're not going to hate me anytime soon. But I get along with a couple still. I mean, these are besties. Yeah, no cap. That guy loves me. Why did the electronics stop crafting, dickhead? Come on. So we got a bunch of Ellie. We probably need to spend more time farming drops. But it's a little late. I think I'm going to sleep now. In today's video, for the first time ever, I am playing a solo server. It's called Vitality Solos, but today I will show you why it should be called Immune Solos. I dominate in PvP, raid multiple bases, including Pearl Cave, do all for Rockwell, and unlock all tech rams. Let's see how I dominate this solo arc server. And the solo video starts with me picking up a glitch on Gen 1. That's how I would do my not run. After farming some basic materials, I took over to the bog biome, started placing foundations and forges to get metal. The only annoying part is that every couple of minutes I would get the insect swarm come over to me. But I had rich metal nodes right next to me, which formed a lot of metal. I now left the base with a couple of grapple hooks on me, parachutes. We're gonna try to get a bloodstalker. Whoever built this ladder is actually freaking cracked. Shout out to him, Jeremiah. On my way up, I saw the slinging webs of a Bloodstalker, so I did not move a muscle. My guy thought he saw me, but then he moved on. After running around cluelessly, I found a Bloodstalker, and we could finally tame it. Scorched Earth has the least amount of people, probably the best ping, so we're gonna go for that. I was waiting for a red drop to land, and here's what I would get my first bit of PvP. Eventually, I would hit a ball on him, but he switched legs, so now I was prem locked with a crossbow and he had a med bruise. Really nothing for me to do, I just left. My bloodstalker is in the upload, so I'll tame this PT and fly to one. Once again, I go to another drop and it gets taken by this guy in the mailing. Finally, I was able to download my bloodstalker and swing away. And the starter spot that I would choose today would be the anvil on scorched earth, green Ob. This is no longer a matter probably to the gen 2, but it's still a good spot to start on, especially with infinite weight. We need to catch up for some lost time, so as you can see we got like 30 forges down to get metal quick. After some farm runs, we got 4 autos outside of our base, so we're relatively safe. If a solo came over to raid me, he would probably die to me after getting damaged by the turrets. The next thing I want to go for now is the chem bench, and then we'll be able to get heavy soon, and then upgrade the base to metal. I then tamed the an Nanki and started swinging metal nodes, got a lot more metal and stone. By now the forges had given me enough metal to make an indie, and I'm too lazy to continuously be checking all these forges, so I'm gonna pick them up and put all the metal in the indie. I think we've had enough of autos, I don't even feel safe in my base with autos, so let's get heavies with level 100 killing spinos. We fast forward, our base is now fully metal, I tamed the doe and we got two heavies on our roof. 
one thing i didn't think through though is that the metal base and the installation is super hot no amount of air cons is going to fix it and no amount of fortitude either so i'm going to be prim locked like this for a while i traveled to lost island so that we get some may wings they're a bit easier to travel with than bloodstalkers with the may wings i would then go to the bee cave and farm some poly and right after i would go to the bp cave to farm some bps However, the cave was highly contested, and I thought that there was no point of fighting for BPs when I could be getting other stuff then, so I left. I want to start scouting for some raids, so I'm going to take a 1x1 with me to spawn in, and I'm going to go to transfer that green knob. But not before I would find some people who wanted to smoke. I bowled the one outside, and shotgun the one inside, and shotgun the one outside, and then killed the PT. Surprisingly enough, this guy had a crowd PT and some other good loot on him. I then went over to church cave where I found this guy trying to scout it, bola pumped him and he just had random stuff on him on my way out though a guy in a pt picked me i bowled him pumped him and he had better stuff transferred over to center scouter bear cave not much in there i'm gonna scout pearl cave now and to my surprise i would find a pearl wall with only two heavies aiming forward my plan is to grab a glitch behind the box i'm gonna leave an extra kit here in the pestle and a one by one outside of the pearl so that i can run back quickly First, I need to find out at what point do turrets start shooting me, and so far, so good. The closer I can get, the better. And now, we're ready to grab a glitch. We just need to find the spot close enough. My legs broke on me pretty quickly there, but I kept trying to metabrew. Just realized that I have Battle Tartar on. So whatever I do, I gotta do it quickly because I won't be healing. At first, I tried to see if I can make a sleeping bag and I couldn't because they're disabled. So we're gonna have to go for a rocket. Thankfully, I was able to survive. Now we rocket again and run back. I ran back in with the kit that I had left and this base was quite fat. I blew up the crafting station. They had BPs and cryos for me. My apologies again for not clipping it but I did kill the guy when he came to his base to defend. But I will extend the amount that I clip from now on from three minutes to five minutes to avoid doing that again. I was attempting to block the entrance to the cave and that's when this guy came running in and now I had to fight him. While I also had this guy whip spamming me. Right as I was about to go, I saw the C4 trap at the entrance and decided to rocket launcher it. And now it's gone. Once I was able to get out, I did not want to know anything about them and dipped. Here's a quick look again at the stuff that I got from that raid. Quite thick. Now we can upgrade our base and we're going to place this in the forge nicely. Get some hatch frames on top of it and we're much safer now. We got even more heavies all the way up here. Vote Amian, best builder 2022. Believe it or not, besides being a YouTuber, I still have a very trash PC and haven't upgraded ever since I ever got a PC. So I went into single player, put preview mode on. And from now on, we're playing without shadows. And what am I doing here? You say, well, I found Lava Cave and I saw that it was poorly built. I could possibly cannon it down and get in. I demolished some foundations that they had nearby to place my own and started cannoning. But just when I was about to get it all down, the guy in the lightning came back to defend his base. I did a little side dash to the left, but I noticed that he completely forgot about me. And I started shotgunning his wyvern, and that would reveal that the turrets were actually down. The explosion took his flak and turned him into a naked, but when he got on that mantis, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Unluckily for him, I tapped him with a shotgun, and now I just had to clear the base out. And so, I could finally get to the looting. Good amount of metal. He had a mannequin with nice cryos. Resources. More resources. And more cryos. In the back of the base, I noticed he had poison wyvern and fire wyverns. So I had to kill that before he came back. 
I left the base quickly because we know how these solos like to call out for help and transferred back to Scorched. I once again went to travel at Green Knob and like always, there's people, so I had to fight them. Funny enough, this guy was actually cheating. I go to check his body. Before I even finish, he's already back. Takes all and speed runs into the water. He's cheating. No, he's cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating. I then scouted Ice Cave and found out there was no wall. I went to the back, placed the bed in a very common spot. Hopefully I can come back later and raid it from behind. The scouting didn't end though. I went to Pack Cave and funny enough, I scouted it at the same time that a guy was there to raid it. What am I missing? No way, he had a stego, man. I gave Karna a little visit. I was gonna wipe the one heavy that they had just to realize they had no ammo. On this server, if you get to level 120, you unlock all tech rams. So me and Wanted went to do all for Rockwell, which just required artifacts to start. He had a good pump EP, and we're going to kill the Rockwell now. Now I need to actually get to level 120, and I would do that with a Reaper Queen. A level 50 would be just enough to start a red OSD and get some nice XP. I got pregnant and hatched the Reaper, and while it was growing, I decided to look for a raid. Found this pillar, which looked pretty easy to quest. In order to raid it, I would still need a Quetzal. I looked around and around on Gen 2, but they were all level 25. Came to Ragnarok to find a higher level, also level 25, so it'll have to do. Right there, right there. Where are we, where are we, where are we, the C4 placement on Windows Arc, at least this server, was a little bit weird, so it was very hard to get C4 placed until eventually I did get it down. Of course, I would save the Quetzal because I'll probably need it for another pillar raid. And this server is solo until you raid somebody online and they tell everybody where they are getting raided and everybody comes to help them. And anyways, I took care of them too. Two other people ended up coming over to 3v1 me. I ended up getting rid of them, except one guy on the PT who was still flying around. As you can see, the base was thick with rhinos and a bunch of other loot. He came over and somehow he just took the item cast that I was looting. It just disappeared. Wait, what? What the? The second item cache was also thick with more cryos and loot. Finally, I would drop the turrets to get some extra ARB and I would leave. By the time the raid was over, I would be starting a red OSD because my reaper had fully grown. Getting level 120 was not hard at all because the server was also a uh, 15x XP, I think. Hey man, you do- oh my god, it's real. It's hey man, you cannot record this. Counter red is against the rule. I went back to scouting pillars, and of course, I found one that could be quetzed, so back to building it. Bro, why is it always n Another guy would come. There's three people here. Keep in mind, this is a solo server, and I have to bolo this guy and kill him, and he would be the thickest of the lot. Of course. This guy was so scared he was about to move his base, but for some reason he PEPs me with his entire base on him, so there was nothing to raid. The whole base was on him. Finally, back at base, I did an alpha manta core boss fight, upgraded the base to tech, turrets all over, replicator, and that would be the end of day one. In today's video, I will be playing Mainframe Arc, which has sponsored this video, a new cluster on Steam with 5x rates and 7-man tribe limit. They have cool, unique features I want to show you, and if you want to play on this cluster too, I will leave the link in the description to join their Discord. My goal is to survive as a solo on this harsh 7-man cluster, build up this rat hole as much as I can. I do end up making enemies with the ice cave, and I can't wait to show you how that ended. If you find yourself enjoying, smash two buttons, the like and sub, so enjoy. Like any other server, 
server today, we would start up on extinction to get our three notes, do our little note run. Fortunately, we wouldn't be that high level because the XP rate is low on here. After getting my levels, I transferred to Gen 2 and would instantly get into some action against two guys from the same tribe. Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Imian. I'm that famous guy from YouTube. I'm trying to record a video on here. Where are you guys building? Maybe I could go wipe you guys. Lunar. That sounds like cancer. After a nice back and forth combo, we eventually parted ways and I continued living on. Nice to meet the guys from Lunar though. Good luck then. I found the white drop and expectedly, I did not get anything useful from it. Good thing about being in a tech suit is that I'm gonna be overweight. I'm gonna be getting every resource that I can get my hands on like crystal and metal. And we're just gonna continue farming, gathering resources. Eventually, I gather resources to get myself the first refining forge. With this, I'll make a Maywing saddle and other stuff. I also found the dead Capro, which is nice. On my server, you wouldn't find one because I disabled the spawning of these pricks. And you know, another prick I should disable the spawning of is these Chalicos. The guy just threw a shit at me. And the Shadow Mane's coming in to help me. But sadly, he's gonna steal my hide. So you know what? I might as well disable every dino at this point. With that extra bit of hide that I got, I made more forges, got down a smithy, and now we're smelting metal up the ass. So you already know, we're gonna get the metal tools to get more metal. Have you ever seen Dillos this way? I see them as chihuahuas. Very aggressive little creatures that get packed up just like that. Free hide, bitch. Bulb dogs are like little pugs. And look how this one ragdolls the hell out of here. Sorry. But sometimes the victimizer becomes the victim. The best part about the server is that they gave you an iPhone. The things I could do with this. Like watch porn. Alright, so now I'm killing a... I forgot what this thing's called. A Kentrosaurus. Yeah, it took me quite a while. As you can see, I'm already broken bones from killing this. But thankfully, that thing killed the Mantis for easy polymer. And Kaiden. Then I hopped in the lake, and with my tech chest piece, I'll fly around the water, get some beaver dams, as well as pearls. When I got out of the water, I saw a purple drop in the distance. I went for it, and of course, I would get nothing useful, like always. So, I also realized that it was Ellie Day, because of the purple drops. So let's go farm some element. For the next 20 minutes, all I would do was tech punch element, until eventually I ended up with over 300 hard element, which was nice. I dropped the shards, because I couldn't transfer them. Who cares about shards? You don't need that. While I was playing the server, I was trying to tame a Maywing, and then boom, everything disappeared. It was a dino wipe out of nowhere. I didn't really know why, but they said they have some scheduled dino wipes that I didn't read into. But anyways, I tried to trick the admin into giving me a giga, just to see if they did admin abuse, or, you know, they tried to give me the giga because I'm a YouTuber and I'm sponsoring their server, or whatever. But, well, the server is legit. They didn't even, they didn't care about me, basically. I'm, I'm a no-name. They, they treated me like nobody. So, yeah, that's good on them. I ended up going to sleep that night, and when I woke up, my little forges and smithy got wiped, so I had to start from scratch near a mission terminal, now with more forges, and, you know, a smithy again. I used all the stone that I had gathered from farming the element, which was quite a lot, like 20k, and I used that to make some spark powder. By the way, if you ever see a Megaloceros, don't even try killing it. It gives a bit of pelt, and basically too hide. I'm in need of a bit of oil, which is kind of lacking on Gen 2, so I took my Maywing over to the West 3 area in the snow on island, where I got some polymer from penguins, as well as some oil for America. It's been like two days now, and I've been wondering where I should actually build, it's just been starter so far, and I remembered that on Windows I raided this rat hole not long ago with Dopey. So, why not build on it, right? It's a good title for a video. So, we're gonna make this Rahul OP and strong, unraidable. Let's start out now. We're gonna place some refining forges at the bottom layer where it will be burning without consuming any space. Well, technically it is consuming space, but we won't see it. And this right here is the second layer, the higher layer, where we'll have our crafting station. Beautiful base with tons of space, as you can see. I need to fill these forges with some metal, so I'm gonna head over to the mountains and start hitting on some rocks. When I got back, I didn't even put the metal in the forges yet, I went to AFK for a little bit, and then somebody snuck into my rat hole.
When I got back, I planned to just leave him stuck in there through the foundation until he gave up and died of boredom, but I have to go inside, so I'll go inside and then lock him in. Try to fight him until he dies. And there we go, just like that we assess the threat and from now on I'll be putting a metal foundation at the entrance along with a stone to make sure he don't try to come in again. Eventually I thought he would be trying to come again instantly but he never came back, rip y'alls, probably quit after that. Now I'm building up the second floor with some ceilings so we can cover up the ugly first floor filled with forges everywhere. The pearls on Gen 2 are not that good, and thankfully this server has a whip that I can use underwater, so I went to Crystal Isles and put in some work on that lake filled with pearls. I then went to the beehive cave, and most of the time when I go in here, I go in carefully, but sometimes I just YOLO it and dive fully in. If I die, it is what it is. Thankfully, there were no turrets in it. I'm gonna go to a corner where I like to farm the hive, and by the time bees get here, I'm gonna dip, because I don't, I don't fuck around with bees. You know, they, they're pretty evil, and they complicate things pretty quickly, so... Yeah, they're coming. I'm already out. Peace. I want to craft a mining drill, so I landed on the Gen 1 Lava Cave where you farm Ellie. And I'm going to get the Black Pearls in this little pool, which are pretty easy to farm. Now, I'm not even high level enough to get a chem bench or an Indie Forge, so I got some Forex notes. Not with the end goal of getting heavies. I don't care about heavies. I'm not going to get raided because I'm literally untouched. And I'm just going to get high level for a chem bench so we can start mass crafting Spark. So I killed a couple spinos and we got 10 more levels. That'll be just enough for me to continue farming. I got into killing a few more spinos though and I didn't even realize but I was actually broken bones out of nowhere from the heat. I dived back to the city, barely made it alive. That would have been unfortunate having to run back to my maywing. But I made it out with like 7 HP. Now back at base, I crafted the chem bench, placed it down next to the fabricator. This crafting station is probably the best you've ever seen. I now want to make an indie forge to smelt metal faster, but the chemistry bench used up my resources, so I'm gonna have to re-farm crystal as well as metal. Farming metal in these mountains out here is pretty hard, guys. Scorpions and raptors constantly trying to attack you, putting you to sleep. But yeah, they got clapped. And so I crafted some C4 with the new resources that I got. I started scouting Ragnarok first for raids. When I got to Lava Cave, I found something interesting. Auto turrets around it and no heavies. But soon, I would realize that this cave had server protection. As you can see on the screen, the structures are protected as some shells hit them, and it says that they're protected with PvE mode. So, not much to do here. The guy got on his wyvern, tried to attack me, but I dipped. I checked out this cave to see if there's anybody in here. Of course not, it's a pretty bad cave. Moving on. Found a little drop all the way in the desert. Of course, nothing good. Made my way over the island since Rag was pretty dry. Hunter Cave had nothing. The Pack Cave was also empty, unfortunately. So I'm gonna head over to Ice Cave now. Now, right off the bat, Ice Cave felt different to the rest. I was about to see for this Dino Gate to continue moving in, but a Maywing just jumped up on me. I chased him outside, he would just glide around, I thought he would leave but lingered around and eventually I would see why he would linger. As rare as it is, on his first whip he was able to take my shotgun and that was all I pretty much had. I had some C4 so I thought maybe if I could net one of these guys I could C4 him. But they're just spamming the whip right now. And I just discovered that the tech bow is a thing on this server as well. And just like that, from one moment to another, what was just a guy in a mailing turned into a guy in a tech suit, a guy with a tech bow, a guy in a death modus. It was just way too much. It was all of Ice Cave on me.
with like two hits the tech bow put me completely asleep and now the ice cave would cage me i asked them to let me 1v1 each of their tribe mates but they were too scared to even try that they just kept me caged and didn't allow me to do anything i completely logged out to discourage them from continuing and maybe i could hop back on and play but when i came back on they were putting me inside of a wooden cage so i completely turned off my pc and moved on with life It's just a fine Friday, you boot up your PC to play some ARK, and you ask yourself, what is wiping today and is also fun? You scroll and you scroll and then you see Astro PvP 100x. All the low boost friends that you have are probably gonna clown on you for this, but you go for it anyways. The cluster has gen 2, so you obviously start there, it's the best map. So far it seems just like another server, that is gonna be the same thing all over again. But in the blink of an eye, the 100x server betrays you, and when you felt most powerful, everything crumbles. You're watching Immian, and this is how I survived in a pro cave for 4 weeks on a 100x server. Put those stuff in the Giga, I mean, because you know. They're coming up. They're pop a Giga. What? That's fucking invincible. Hello? Hello? Let me see how many textures. Is it down? Almost. No, it's down. Go, go. And later I'll show you how I almost killed a woman. Astro just wiped, I'm a bit late, and I'm playing with two other people at the moment. I'm gonna tame some Maywings so that I have better mobility. Now with these, I'm gonna head over to Ragnarok, get some Black Pearls, and tame myself a Thuso. Well, multiple Thusos. I found a low level Angler, which I also tamed with a few Tranks. On my way up, looking for my Maywing, I saw a guy who was actually on a Tuso. He was crying it. And sadly, my Tuso turned around, took too long to turn back. He got on the motorboat, and he was safe. I went over to Golem with a Velo that my friend had tamed, and the only problem was that I had 100 movement speed. So, running past the PV wasn't really an option. This has black pieces, golem, hopefully something good, yikes, most useless golem I've seen. We were built in a very bad starter location, so I wanted to go somewhere a little safer, which ironically I feel like this was even less safe. This is the worst Rahul you could ever build in. This is the Rahul that I wiped in a previous video, but here I am building on it then i did an even dumber thing which was spamming the outside because now i'm screaming hey there's a base here after 15 minutes a fully spammed and built rat hole but it has nothing in it just stone foundations let me give you guys a quick base tour checked it out Chee! fully foundationed out the inside as well now we're gonna have to put some indie forges and chem benches and we have ourselves a starter base in a rat hole are weird bro what you 18 are you still a virgin You're like what ah. oh you're not weird Chuck, like, tell me how this guy has slept with a girl the girl woke him up and told him there was nobody home and he went back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> he said he said oh okay this is one back to sleep i started spamming heavies wherever i could but believe me they would not do much but i could only hope that nobody would come Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy. Don't come in, come in. I can't go in, like what? I'm completely naked. What, what's the point of you being here then? I told you I was naked, you told me to just go outside. 
Yeah. It's goal and, and camp the entrance. Go and camp the entrance. I'll play him. I'm so slow, dude. Look at this boom with me. I'm dead. I'm dead. So slow. He, he can't. He can't grab you if you're looking at him. Outside, are you somehow help? No, I can't run outside. Back on Gen 2, I found the Quetzal and decided to tame it. Maybe we could quetz some base down, you know? Eventually, while offline, the Rahul, you know, it was imminent. It was offline wiped by Pex, a streamer. And so I was left with only one option. I had to find the Pearl Cave, a decent one, and build it. I left a bed in that pearl cave, but I continued to look for other better ones and scouting the rest, and I found this. Well, there goes the Maywing. I wiped the base. I lost the main wing, but I wiped it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop being so good. Why are you so good? The pro cave was uber poor, but I took down the heavies, hoping for some ammo. Uh, empty. And I was hoping for some loot, and not much. But it was something. I'm still thinking about that lady that you hit. I, I'm pretty sure her back is hurting right now. She Oh, she left like, like limping. Oh yeah, I know. I could promise you, she's not sleeping tonight. You probably have no clue what Dopey's talking about, but I told him the story of how I crashed into a lady at a K1 racing area, and right here is his son, who I completely bully in the race by passing him here. In the next lap, I was catching up to his mom, and I did this to the poor girl. Of course, after the race, I went up to her and apologized, uh, but anyways, back to Ark. Back at home base in the Pearl, of course, I've advanced it, put the vaults down, put a transmitter, and I was getting ready to farm even more. Spawned that Southwest 3 on Rag and got myself some Black Pearls. And what I consider a great waste of time was trying to go get berries with just a whip instead of bringing a Pro Cop, but hey. I also got a Parasaur to make sure I am alerted when there is an enemy nearby scouting. Over on Extinction, don't forget it's 100x, so I started chainsawing enforcers down. I was very happily farming, but when I went back to base, let's just say my timing was perfect. No clue how much HP manas have on here, but I'm assuming a lot since it's 100x. I was just hoping these turrets could take it down. And while the turrets took care of that, there was actually a guy in the back of my base. And I had to eliminate him. One mistake, I die, and it's over. I tried to put a heavy in the back, but that wouldn't work out. Without Stam, Beard, and 100 movement speed, I had to grapple my way up to him. the 
Crystal Wyvern Flamethrower combo on him. soak all of that for just a moment I had lost him only to realize he was stuck inside of the stegos I killed him finally this guy has tank turrets flame crystal everything holy I want to see his kid already On the other side, the mana had just now died, soaking half of my bullets. I knew that it wasn't over, so it was time to get ARB, heavies, and techs, but fast. He quickly came back, was in the water, and I had to either put a heavy on him or grapple him out. El Bozo. That guy probably missed one of the biggest chances he ever had, cause now I was gonna beef this pearl up. But I had spoken too soon, as crafting ARB, the man was back, and this time my crystal wyvern was dead. Okay, I really hope that was his last chance. Because remember that shark I got in that pearl cave? It was time to go ham. What? Why is this thing knocked out? Well, in the meanwhile, I had to hope that those guys didn't come and kill my sharky. And I would have to wait for it to wake up. So back to crafting heavies. This time, I wouldn't just put heavies all the way at the front. I would put them in the back as internals. In the deepest, darkest corners, he would never expect them. This top part of the pearl cave is actually amazing for internals, I really love it and it's not easy to blow. And they can hit you off your team. The dickhead had blown my indie forges but he forgot it's 100x so that was quickly repaired. And then I proceeded to farm more metal, stone, keratin, and poly that I have possibly farmed in my entire arc career. I spawned back on gen 2, hopefully looking to get some Ellie, but I actually ran into this fight between a rhino and a bloodstalker. So I was going to stick around and see what happened. Long story short, the Bloodstalker guy won the fight and now I had to finish him. At first when ruling his body, I thought that the Fabio was bad, but I realized infinite crafting skill so it was actually kind of Throughout 7 years of arc I have built underwater in the best caves, even pillars, I won't even dare to build in the sky on a Quetzal. Today, thanks to Vitality for inspiring me, I will build an entire base on a Plesiosaur all by myself on a fresh wipe on my server. I'm not really worried about the XP because it's 25x so enough for the platform saddle, I'll get that. Here we go, we basically have infinite weight with the tech suit, let's get some crystal and metal and we're gonna be smelting this soon with some forges. Every time I see a mantis with the tech suit, that's free polymer right there, can't miss on that opportunity. 
I then got some hide and other resources for some forges, and it's time to craft them. We won't be living in a base for long, don't worry, I didn't scam you, but anything like this, a little hidden will do. If you haven't seen how the master shop looks like, this is what it looks like. If you're MVP, you get a free skin, and yeah. I remember a long time ago when a fabricator was such an accomplishment, but here we are, one minute into the video, and we got a fabricator. And here's a clip of me singing. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I do while playing solo is I go and tame a maiming for myself because it's a pretty fast tame. And remember, I don't have a tech suit on every other map. I'm over here on island to grab some oil and some pearls, some resources that are a little rare on Gen 2, you know? I'm not even gonna cap. I have never um, used the tame the plays you before, so I have to look up a video. They're all like from five years ago, so let's see what the hell I get from this. Nice. Okay, so let's get in here. All right. So don't not don't blame me. Okay, it, it says right there at the bottom, stone dinosaur gate frame. First, I need a Tuso because Tusos control the ocean. I'll be able to kill anything that gets in my way, anything in my path. I will destroy. And luckily, this is a high level. I transferred over to the island because I'm not gonna find many places on Rag. They are many on island though. There's two here. I'm gonna kill one of them and tame the other. Remember when I talked about the gay frames? Yeah, as you can see, the plezzy is a, a little bigger than them. So I'm going to have to stay my distance and knock them out from here. You're probably wondering, how did the situation get this down bad? Well, it turns out that by hitting you with the two, so I got a two low to knock it out. So now I'm clubbing it. I'm clubbing a plezzy. Oh, I'm primlocked by mantises, bro. No, actually, sir, it's called uh, manta rays. But yeah, sadly, after wasting the last 30 minutes of my life, the Plesio came to an end, and possibly the Tuso. I died, however, the Zuzo is still alive. I mind white pretty much all into oxygen, and let's get back to it. Come on, move! Move! And like a work of magic, the Tuso escaped on like 2 HP. Eventually, I found the low level Plesi that was easy to knock out, just netted it a couple times. It's now sleeping, and soon it will be mine. There we go. Now he's tamed. Let's put that beautiful saddle on him. And there you go. That's that's my base, guys. C congrats. I have a base. I'm no longer homeless. Um, let's cryopod this thing and let's take it to a map with a bigger ocean. What map is that, you say? That map is Crystal Isles. There's probably a better map, but let's go with Crystal Isles. Let's not waste too much time. And if they find us, they find us. All right, guys, this is a special moment. This is my first time placing a structure on a plezzy. Isn't that beautiful? We're so broke. It's 25x and we're using wooden foundations. Don't judge. I then proceeded to put down my smithy, my fabricator, a jenny to power things on, and the chem bench. Now, the most painful part of the process. I don't even have a transmitter yet, but even when I do, I can't place one on a plezzy. So this is going to be something I have to do very often. Fly to a drop. I got enough resources to get me an indie forge and I had a suspicious feeling I wouldn't be able to place it and I was right. So we got to stick to the refining forges. It's time to get our BPs. So I'm over here near the BP cave to get a blue plurid on effect. And this one was causing me a lot of issues. I swam a little too far from the two. So and now I'm in trouble. Of course, my two so dies this time. And I saw as well. Primlock, did you not see that? Did you not see that? Oh. Yeah, every time I go to BB Cave, there's always already a guy running it, so I have to overpower him with my own. I teamed another Tuso, of course, and here I am back to dominate the BB Cave. Brody, you have to let me know when my cryo timer's going. To your left, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Cryo timer. Cryo yeah. sick. I'll Don't pick. Oh, yeah. I wanted to despawn. By the way, since I am an MVP on my own server, easy admin abuse, I get to paint my dinos, which is really cool. Check that out. This Tuso is now fully black. Holy shit. Three on the sides. Give me the a number. You got two, right? This is three. Yeah, man, nah. go, go shut down the service. Go your right <laughs> Yeah, farming BBs isn't easy. Sometimes you're not that lucky, and it takes quite a while before you even get your first good BP. Oh. Oh. All right, nice. We're getting somewhere. We got a PT saddle from that. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> See, guys. This is what I had to deal with on a daily basis with Dopey. Man, that, that's the thing is you think. Let me get 
spawned in the entire thing. Ooh, I got a fatty BB on lane. I had to put the BB farming to the side because now me and Dopey's tribe are going to go into a boss fight. It costed me uh, 2,000 points that I got from my membership, but it is what it is. I need these tech rams. Hey, stop it! Boss the banana! Shut up, man. No one cares. Just kidding, I do. I think you're talking about your girlfriend. This bitch lad. Hey, yo, relax. I'm just trying to get some long guys for me and my family. <laughs> and since Dopey is literally my biggest fan, he has to kill me after every boss fight. He's pleased to like wild dino wipes every like three hours, bro. It's so annoying. I then spent a long time farming BPs just to get a couple of flag pieces, but yeah, overall pretty trash. I literally said, I literally said, hey, can you give it to my friend as well? And he went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm such a little bitch for that, aren't I? Bitch for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got absolutely sick of being in a Tuso and farming the BB cave. I'm finally done with it. I'm not going to farm anymore. I'm going to just trade now for the BBs that I have. For example, I leave you here a very interesting trade that I did with these guys in front of the uh, assault cave. Nice. Yeah. Okay, bro. Hey, hey. bro even, are, are, you, are you okay, bro? No, I'm not okay. I want to <laughs> like, trade. No Amy, hey come here. I have present. Uh, drop my kit, uh, Ryan. Uh, I don't have it. It's here. Why do you give me a scoop of BB? No, it's no. Hey, here, take this, take this, take this. Kill oh, that is Amy and It's Amy and Zir. Amy and Zir, guys. Amy and Zir, stop. I wanted to get out of there so quick that I forgot to download the BBs before I left. So I'm here in Isles out of the Red Obelisk, which is famous for PvP. And hopefully I don't get into none of that because I just want to get my BBs and dip. But they're just gonna hear a bunch of teleporter sounds coming from. Hello, yeah, Indian. Carter, Carbo, stop! He's here. They got heavies now. They got heavies. They no take. No, they got takes. They got takes. I ended up losing that guy in the mana, but he learned his lesson. And then a guy in a crystal wyvern appeared out of nowhere. Here, bro. Bob, they take. Bob, they Thankfully, I was able to hide and lose him, just how I lost the mana guy, and I transferred quick as hell. I am in need of some fiber, so I went over to Genesis Ocean with a sickle and put in the work. I ended up leaving with like 200k fiber. As you can see, the base is now fully metal. Uh, well, okay, ignore the background, but yeah. We got most of the metal foundations in here, and we got some more resources, got a good amount of poly. The next thing is to probably go for a replicator, but actually, can I even get a replicator on this? I need to find that out. I know I can't get a trans, but maybe a rep. Ah, but who cares about a rep? It wouldn't be an Indian video if I didn't go to Lava Golem, right? So let's see what we can do here. There we go. Got my teammate. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Finish it, finish it. Uh, yeah, it. Oh. This guy thought he could seek uh, freedom in the ocean, but he doesn't know. I got a 400 damage pump, and I don't even have water on my screen. I was pretty much dominating the entire fight, and just when I thought I was about to kill him, this teammate comes over to help him. Well, thanks to those guys, I now have a velo and I can head over to the golem and do it myself. Hopefully get some BPs. I did buff golem on my server, so it's like three extra drops that aren't even there on official. So yeah, let's see what we can do. As you can tell, there are also no bugs in this golem because I'm built like that, you know? You gotta do all that extra shit. Man was clueless. 
All right, so let me tell you guys something. You might think I died because I had too much HP on my character because you can get up to 600 HP. I didn't. I had like 340 HP build. It's not even that high. And I, I'm, I, I'm nerfing flamethrowers more. I, I think I've seen a lot of people complain. I think they're a little bit too strong on my server. But yeah, I forgot to med brother for a second too. When I started off this web solo, I never expected it to go. Wrong video, bro. Put the quality down. Put it at 144p. Come on. <laughs> ah, solo again. This time I'm on Windows. The rates are 10x. The server has a lot of pops, so it's gonna be very tough. What's the challenge? Well, I'm solo in Arc. Let's see how far we can get, how many raids we can do, and uh, something else, I don't know. Also, if you play Ark on Steam or Xbox and you want to be in one of my videos, I'm going to be playing my own servers. Link in the description, get in there guys. Welcome to oh. Windows. I was about to say that. I wonder what's that for. Time to bring it down, I thought I was shocked. <laughs> oh, oh nice number one. If that spits me, I'm, gonna, I'm weak. Oh, it's coming for you. Run, run! Bing <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jump, because I'm like that. Nice fall down. But I can't see sh because it's so fucking blinding. Ooh, quick stain on the tools. Thank you very much. Watch a Bob come here and take the green drop. I heard a beat. Oh. oh. No. no. Whip spamming like a bulb against a bulb. Which bulb will win? You know you're tough on that. Wait, bolo's me when I'm whipping the bulb up. Oh. oh, no pressures, right? What do you do after getting clapped this hard? You go to the easiest DLC. Where, what are you what are you doing? What are you going for? You know you're going to the most populated area of Gen 2, right? That's and crazy. the one five B will destroy your whole career. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please clip that so when you get quick in five minutes you can replay that. After a little bit of farming, I got some forges up and a little starter base to get things going. I was about to craft myself some nets when I heard a guy outside. Uh oh. Text it outside. Oh, he's up. That's the front one. The stuff you see in the servers, man. I left the base to go for some green drops, but I was also met with the resistance. After taking out these, I continued to farm the green drops. 50 pipes, you know I'm demoing all of them for the metal. It took me a while, but I got a total of 150 ingots from that. From here, I head over to Gen 1 and start farming some crystal, fiber, wood, thatch with my whip. That's all I need. What's all these resources for? My new base location, of course. It requires a cliff pad. Uh, 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 Easy. I TP'd over to invite Dopey into the tribe, but don't worry, he does absolutely nothing, goes to sleep, and we never see him again. Take that back home. Okay, my mistake. He gave me some stone, metal, and azul berry. Does that make this a dual series? I, I mean, made it a job. I want to give you blood, the blood sugar so you upload them, and then I'm going to go to sleep. 
Made out of drops, so I give you the blood stalkers, so you upload them, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't need them. Um, I'm a team with You sure? Mm hmm You make me waste an hour of my life. I was trying to do it to help you. That's <laughs> yeah, you. I'm actually mad. Like, there's no way. <laughs> I wasted like an hour and a half getting those blood stalkers, so you can have a good day while I sleep, and you're like, ah, I don't need them. <laughs> you sure? Like, you don't need want. I need to move, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take mere wings, baby. A camera? I've never used the camera on Ark. What is this? <gasps> take a look at this milk glider in its natural. Okay, let me stop. While well, taming the Maywing, I had a visitor right there next to me. He's just standing, chilling, looking at me, and then he leaves. That's it. Just like that, he goes away. Goodbye. By the way, the Gen 1 base that I had built up actually got raided while I was AFK, like always. So I'm going to have to do a starter base on Gen 2. I need to get a lot of hide quick, and this level 15 Bronto will do just fine. Then I went over to Gen 1, found the Doid, and decided to tame it. I uploaded to Mr. Doidy, and then I started doing my alpha mission. No one's faster than you. Everything seemed normal, and I was just on my way to start the next mission when this happened. I survived that, but I was still in trouble, cause when the mission cancelled, I'd be TP'd back there. Why is the loading so slow on this? Oh my, that was... That was so close. To release some stress after that, I came over to the snow to beat up some defenseless, innocent penguins. I used that poly to craft some cryopods that blew up. We're back on gen 2, this time with a chainsaw to kill some mantis. And that will be enough poly to make an indie forge. The first indie forge. Or as we say in German, Gewinn as der Industrialen Schmiede. Oh, did you guys see that? Free electronics? And now that I was next to it, I also had to stop at the sulfur to get some sulfur. We do have a chem bench now, and I'm just putting the cables right there to connect it. Nice. Look at the top right. Look at the bottom right. You see that XP? Spinal time. There should have been a really cool montage of me killing spinals, but I didn't clip any of them. Um, but I did get really close to level 100, and the cooking pots will be just enough. The first heavy of the video. Two! I went over to Rag to get some cactus sap, because I want my flamethrower. I was so close to Golem that my withdrawal started kicking in. I started itching, but I saw the Bloodstalker and that quickly went away. Nope. I'm out. Want nothing to do with that. He's gonna follow me, isn't he? Yep. He didn't want to stop, so I was gonna give him a fight. I have no clue how I'm still alive. The C4 is still strapped to my leg. He could have just detonated it, but maybe he didn't see it. I eventually made it back over to my main base and discovered that it was not taken, fortunately. 
So, I'm gonna rebuild. Right there is perfect. If you go any lower than this, you will be teepeed away from here. Remember my Doad? I brought him over to Extinction to farm some crystal together. Just what I needed, a 30 second load timer. Oh my god. The next thing on the list was to get a strider, so I started doing missions. But some missions didn't go too well for me. And just when I was doing perfectly fine with the tech rifle, my brain decided to pick the tech bow. I farmed enough missions for a low level, around 10, and now I get some mutagel and I'm ready for a strider. While scouting for one, I found an interesting personality to say the least. Hmm, look at this fellow, what does he think he's gonna do? He couldn't catch up to me so he activated his turbo boost. Has to be speed hacks. What the hell? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Oh my god. Right now, I opened the ticket to the admins to get this guy banned, but I decided I was gonna take matter into my own hands, make it easier for the admins. I actually fought this guy, killed them, activated his gamer card, and sent it all to the admins with evidence. But I forgot to record it, so just trust me, bro. After quite a while looking for striders, I finally found the mining drill one and low level enough for me to tame it. I took him for a quick spin to get some resources, then I safely uploaded him. In today's video, I'm building up solo on Fusion 25X, a Steam server with 7-man tribes and you guessed it, 25X rates. Well, except dinos that grow at 100X rates. The plan is to take a vent, build it up entirely, then go fobbing and raiding. But one thing wasn't planned, our vent being fobbed on. Let's see if I can survive solo an event on Fusion 25X. If you want to play on this server too, I left you a link in the description to join their Discord. Now smash the like button, we need to reach 3000 in this video or I'll delete my channel. We start off with a quick extinction note run and then we're gonna transfer to Gen 2. I thought I could get quick black pros on these trees, but I went right past the dead ones into the alive one. And I slumped the bed. I then went on a farming spree of obsidian, crystal, a mantis, trilobites, and then I thought it was enough farming and wanted to take a nap. Back at base, I realized that there was a slash kit in the shop, and I got some heavies up and a full stone base 3x3. Then I crafted an indie forge to start smelting metal faster. The forge lighting made my whole base look like piss. I felt like my base was safe for a bit, so I went farming BPs at Crystal Isles with a Bloodstalker. There was also a kit angler, so I popped it near the pearl spawn, which was next to the BPs. You already know I got an insane amount of pearls there. The BP farm continued until I got a full flex hit. When I got back to base, I actually got raided by a PTC spin. Nevertheless, I hadn't lost much, so I did another base kit and I put down some heavies on a one by one. I took a mining drill to aberration, formed some blue gems, keratin, and a lot of metal. I was now just missing poly to get a lot more turrets, so I went with a chainsaw to crystal isles, and I politely asked for the beast's permission. Don't worry. None of them were harmed in this video. I started crafting rockets because I was bored of all the farming, and I want to fob something, and I'm gonna fob a very interesting cave while solo. First I thought, let me go to Bear Cave. A lot of people fight for it at the beginning and they're usually set back. But when I got there, I tried C4ing a foundation to realize that the crouch area spot isn't 6x. So I left. And where do I go next? 
Pearl Cave. Now, I know this makes no sense. I'm solo and I'm fobbing Pearl Cave online, but it's Amien. What do you expect? Now, there are some turrets outside, so let's take that out real quick and easy. All right, so my rocket didn't shoot. Let's do that one more time. I also switched the positioning of my last fob because it was kind of cringe. I then bought some boxes that Primal gave to me and it gives me BPs and dinos which will help us raid this base. After a while of causing damages to their base, they finally come outside and are aware that I am fobbing them. Nothing much happens here, he just tech shields and I'm too afraid of having the net rebound back to me. So I go back to my base to get some more stuff for the fob, find out that Ellie Biome is there so I farm it, and now I'm able to get tech turrets on the fob as well. Let's start breaking their spam to lock them inside their cave. And I started placing my own as well. They came outside to try to slow me down or prevent me from taking out their spam. I kept on trying to net, not knowing that nets are not enabled on this server on players. He then popped a theory on me, so I dipped out of there. I went away for a little bit. When I came back, they had blown my spam up and they had respanned back again. And there was a Reaper outside, so I was a bit confused. There was actually a team of three or four fighting them and they were really good with the snipers. So I had to back up for a bit. Eventually those guys left and I was able to spam again, place a tech Jenny outside with tech turrets aiming into the middle. I tried doing a couple runs for the turrets that were outside, but my flak was not enough for that. And that's when the last brain cell floating around in my head got out and said, why are you fobbing Pearl Cave? So I packed up and dipped. Behind the scenes, the vent is starting to get built already. I got one wall on this side already built. Just need to add turrets. I started foundation layering the base as well. It's not snapped to the wall because I'm built different. All right, that's the lunar side mostly built. It's just missing door frames now. What's not right? What's the positioning? What's, what's right with it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, for real, what? I what's did... right with it is you have turrets. If I end up titling this video the best vent ever built, take it with a pinch of salt or a huge bucket of salt. I bought more boxes to get more dinos and got a Prolovia. Useless. I'm also building a second floor so I have more breeding space. Ignore the building in this part of the video, okay? This is just me half-assing right now. Actually, everything's been half-assed. I'm raising some staggles so that we can actually, you know, go to war. And I've crafted more turrets because this wall is looking kind of empty. You know, it's a very big wall, so it's gonna need its full cap. With the staggles now healed and fully grown, I went out scouting for a raid to do. I went for bear cave first and didn't really have much in there at, at all. It was actually wiped already. As I did in the beginning of the video, I transitioned from bear cave to the pro cave. You know, just a grief though. I knew I wasn't gonna wipe this. You, man. Fuck you. The f out of here. No way. No way I'm pretty locked. No way I'm pretty locked. No way. Go! No! Why did it lag? So now I'm kind of safe inside of this, right? But I can't get out now. I'm kind of stuck, you know, inside the pearl cave. And some people jump in as well to start fabbing me. So it was kind no of a way. weird situation. Who's the f aimbotting me? Holy. Please come in. I'll be in the pearl cave you're getting smashed. Me and the guys stuck inside came to a truce, and our main goal was to try to get out without killing each other. So they didn't shoot me, I wasn't going to shoot them solo. Eventually, I was able to get out alive and untouched. The other people actually stayed stuck inside for a little bit longer. I'm building now a base on Extinction because I'm streaming and I want people to come and raid me for PvP. It is what it is. Okay, okay, man. I have no, I have no bolas anymore, man. I have That little event got boring after a while, so I went back to base to realize that I'm actually getting fobbed.
be done. Eventually, I would tech punch that box down, and I was very sad to realize that this whole time I was getting fobbed seriously on the other side, the lunar side, of course. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's too much. It's just. <laughs> No way. And so the soaking began. I didn't even have my turrets in the right settings, for example. A lot of things are wrong about the wall, but we're gonna have to defend anyways. Defending isn't just about sitting in my wall and start netting their steggles. I also have to try to counter their fob as well. So here I am trying to run it. Come on, beer, 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 beer. Holy shit. I can't that please. Stop. Hey, don't do that, man. I went back to my wall and I popped the Giga on the guy on the Stego. Netted the steggle and he was done for. Fight! Don't let him get out. Don't please. Don't let him get out. He's dead. He better die. Oh my god, last second. Nevertheless, we are solo against three to four people, so they would get progress down. Welcome to my base. And boom. Idiots. Idiots. All love to Prime Vol. I was just memeing. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to like chill out. Well, I got Prime ball! Prime ball! Prime ball! <coughs> it is what it is. For a second I lost the guy, but then I saw the tech turret shooting ahead, and I knew where he was. He thought I didn't see him though, as he tried to hide in the stegos. <laughs> You'll die eventually, guys. That is beautiful. And that's how I got the thumbnail for the video. This guy's a f***ing tank.
C4, don't kill me. Stop. Stop. Dro drop it then. Don't do it. Drop it right now. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. I'll give you a way out. You got this. I'm leaving you. <laughs> they tried and they tried, but remember that I'm the best arc player in this game, so I ended up taking out their fob after they left. Who the fuck is following me? Whee! And that's Fusion 25X for you guys. Link down below in the description. Join it. Ark was not designed to be played alone. It was made for players to come together in mass and build an empire. The few brave or stupid enough to take on a server solo in today's video, I start solo often perished before even establishing a place they could call home. The few that did couldn't sleep at night knowing their base was definitely found. As you can see, disaster has struck. Today, however, I chart the new course. A strategy that makes us solo players unrateable has been discovered. No longer will I need a Quetzal in the sky. And as for turrets, we're transcending past that. An expected ally unveiled this secret. Meet Rifle 13, aka your barber, a virtuoso of foot PvP. He imparted knowledge that was to be a game changer. Yet my quest was in its infancy. This was no ordinary day one video. Scratch the routine note run path. Instead, I grabbed XP glitches to level up. A nod to the glitch that inspired this entire venture. Post the initial grind of taming my PT, snowballing and stepping on every roach that got in my way, I set my sights on Ragnarok. Adjacent to the Lava Golem, a place I would often visit after, I laid the groundwork for my operation. The journey to the sky base begins with an ingenious device, the S Plus Converter. This remarkable invention elevates ordinary items into their enhanced S Plus variants. Here, I assembled the S Plus Converter and procured the building blocks for my skyhold, notably hatch frames. Ascending to the sky's edge, I searched for the momentary shift from red to green, a signal that the structure was indeed placeable. Oh my, it actually worked. <laughs> Traversing this platform was a challenge, hence the innovative use of a trapdoor as my makeshift ground. What the hell? <laughs> the trapdoors opened all by themselves. That was scary, bro. I saw myself at the depths. With a spot like this, the strategic advantage was massive over one like a Quetzal, because I can put turrets and transmitters in this base later on. You might think the only highlight of this video is an impressive floating base exploit. Instead, my three day journey on a floating base will pale in contrast with the vicious duo I encountered at my weakest. But karma has a way with things and we would meet again at my strongest. Now where was I? Of course, in the sky, getting my first bits of flak. A PT did allow us to get up here, but much better than that is a Maywing, so let's segue over to Lost Island to try to tame one. Very quickly, I found the level 25, and now we can cry apart our PT. The first thing I used my Maywing was for Haram. I had to ruin somebody else's tame like a classic arc player. Sorry, I had to be an arc player. I had to be an arc I'm not an arc player if I don't ruin your Maywing tame. The next play after that was looting a red drop, which also pissed off somebody else. This is the real nature of arc. All for nothing too, cause the drops sucked. Why <laughs> red drops ass? There's a reason Newton's third law is the most referenced. For every action, there's an equal, and you know the rest. In this case, the bad deeds would all come back to me very quickly. Oh, let's keep a C4 on my man. I noticed there was a C4 on the ground that he was picking up, which brought me to the assumption that my maiming had no C4. Scared as I was, and below half HP, I ran into the tree and hid in a branch for an entire minute. When I decided it was time to leave, I ran straight the opposite way I had come from. Perhaps I was not patient enough. Wait, bro, it's... This wasn't a full-on setback, as I had saved my metal and wood, which I would take back to base to activate my forges. I also claimed a starter kit that was available to me for free. In the following clip, I'll show you how to save one parachute because I'm that stingy early game. I'm going over to blue up the transfer and I use reconnect to save myself from fall damage. 
under the mesh. I transferred over to Gen 2 to team a Mewing, and then I went to AFK, a careless mistake that almost cost me the entire wipe. That dart on my back could have knocked me out, but somehow it didn't register. That random enemy didn't make much of a pursuit, and I safely went back to base to craft a Mewing saddle and place it on my Mewing. Now, I can easily farm black pearls, silica pearls, polymer, I bought some oil, not gonna lie, to make a fabricator. And with these things, I could finally make a drill. Not a care in the world, no need for turrets, I'm chilling in my sky base. I had the Rudy, I had the chronic, the leg of the supersonics. However, peace came to an end when I went to farm Polly and Ab, then I farmed with my drill some keratin just to fly right into a base. Luckily though, by the time I came back, everything was still there and not looted, so I took it back with the S plus tool. I returned to base only momentarily, and now, as I go to transfer to another map, you will hear the average conversation between me and Rifle. Is blow up safe? Like, can I go to blow up without being murdered? Not sure. Let's find out, right? The world is for the bold and the brave, not the pussies that go to drop and try to take play safe. What the fuck is safe even about? I'm gonna run into Golo with my entire base on me. Fuck it. I'm still in hide. I can be in flak easily. But why be in flak? I'm not a bitch. Well, why be in flak when you could shoot a fabby, you know? Exactly. Nah, people be tripping sometimes. This time I transferred to Extinction. I randomly found the Lemantria, and that was a nice opportunity for Silk. But what I had planned to come here for is Flint and Stone, which I can get tons of with the mining drill. Finally, I tamed the Doed and wanted to exit the desert biome, only to go the wrong way, outside of the border, instantly murdering my own Maywing. But don't worry, I made it out of this mistake and bought a new maiming from the shop that will probably die in a similar way anyways. Remember the doe I tamed? I also tamed an RG, and now I can pick it with the RG, put solo farm on, and farm these lampposts that will give me tons of electronics, crystal, and Ellie dust. When I crafted the drill, I consumed half of my metal at base, so you can guess it, metal run. You let all of this metal cook in the forges, and sooner or later, you have an indie forge. You go AFK after that, and then you have two. Two more updates before I start listening to Andrew Tate while farming, and that's that we have a cooker and a grinder, and our May wings are being raised. Caffeine is a miracle, bro. I am heavily caffeinated at all times. You heard it from Tate himself, guys. Overdose your ass on caffeine. As you can see, I decided to stop being PvE, I slapped my hard eye and eye on, and I went into Golem to take a chance. It all ended very quickly. A guy with a shield and a whip already. And he polo needs the boots, bro. Get a grip. Two of them. <laughs> Despite being completely speed ran, I was not going to quit. I re kit and fell straight back down to Golem. Wait out. Because I conveniently live right above it. What the? Oh. It wouldn't be long before I found an enemy, and I baited him into this tunnel where I would bolo him. Oh, don't bolo fight him. Don't. However, my gear was prim, and he probably wasn't, so killing him was virtually impossible. You were not killing that kid. I then tried grappling him into lava. Ironically enough, I fell into it, and he avoided it. Luckily, though, lava does not one-tap on this server. Far on the opposite spectrum of luck was my situation, as I had four people hungry to kill me. But I was able to hide quickly in the water. Alright, but whatever. Right, Where's I lose a prim kit? Here's. As you can see, I grew a pair and stopped hiding. I was gonna go fight them. Come on, Nimian. Show them oh. who you really are. Nimian? <laughs> how the hell did that guy not see you? Is that I your... don't know. These guys are blind. Oh, they're seeing me. <laughs> Oh my god, like a full 10 man. I can't run. Oh my Where god. Is that? I thought I was sneaky and hid in this little crevice, thinking that they would never find me. But they did, and it didn't end very well for me. Because I literally do not know when to quit, I came back a third time with another prim kit. I ran across a bunch of dropped items that were actually profit for me. Hey, I got, I got decent legs, 300 legs. That came with a price, however, as the four-man gang found me again on my way out. Oh, they bullied the raptor. Oh my god. I thought you got bullied. I took a hard left into this little entrance and hid behind the waterfall. I disappeared. That same four-man tribe ran straight back deep into Golem, 
As I got there, they had just finished killing it, and they were about to run out. But not just them four, but another four. There's two of them. Right. Three of them. Four of them. Okay, it's a four of them. Right, almost here, Five, boss. six! Right, they all go. ran gold together, NG! Oh, they were fighting, I guess. I don't know. What the I don't know what's going on. A lot of people just came out. They're all running outside. Why is this bot here with me? I have nothing. First I have nothing. Stop first fighting time. me. Fight your enemy. I have nothing. I have nothing to do with this. Three, mean, seven thousand people, dude. Seven it's people came out of there. Boy. I think eight. I'm coming out of the cross right now. Oh! This kid's trying He's to bully me. My family. After some swift immune movement, I was able to juke them and be at peace once again. I was about to return to my base when I saw Angie get bowled between four people. And after he died, I tried to take the kit. I just swapped that. I couldn't I get just the kit. No. Because there was a bunch of fights going around, I went straight back into Golom naked by parachuting on top of it. And I was able to find a kit left all alone. Unfortunately, it didn't have any weapons. It was pretty much just flak and bolas. That was about to change. There's a guy on me darting on my main. He just netted it. Yes, I got a pump. With his pump now in my hands, I tried to Una reverse him, but instead he Una reversed me and whipped the pump back. As the big tribe fights continued, I was able to scavenge for some loot, except for the Alpaldi, who just disappeared. Now, I do have a comp. Who's getting camped outside by a Mantis? The Mantis PvP meta is the most toxic, as it can put any player to sleep with one tap. I couldn't let this guy get away with ruining that person's day, so I took action. After netting the Mantis, it was only two shots with a comp to put an end to it. But now, I also had to finish the player. I fought fire with literal fire. He wanted to use a Mantis, so I brought the flamethrower, another cancerous meta. Not only was justice served, I also got a fat kit with a Maywing, Velo, pumps, and tons of flak. Because I am, for lack of a better option, an idiot, I stood AFK in Golem to get bowled with a guy who has a 320 damage pump. Sick. I ran again into Golem, and I'll be honest, I was watching my friend's rifle stream. He killed somebody, didn't loot half of the body, so I came over to loot the scraps. Very convenient. I mean, go solo, but he has powerful political friends in the server. In the introduction to the video, I reminded you that the highlight wouldn't be the floating base. It would simply be a duel that I came across that nearly got me. Nearly. A compound bow is easily countered by a shield, but lack thereof, in this case, I was forced to medbrew and pray. I had no choice other than to throw out my mewing and hopefully escape, but they quickly killed it. Just as I was recovering HP, they hit me again, putting me at critical health. I had to think of something quick, and whipping their compound bows wouldn't work. I don't know how I'm still alive at this point. When it seemed like it was about to be over, I came up with a good idea. Grappling up to this bridge, where I could lose them for a bit. The idea didn't stop there. Now, as they tried to come up, I would whip their crossbows. It wouldn't be long before they got up here, however. They had a mailing. So, I had to go for it. The terminal. Maybe, just maybe, I could transfer out in time. When I realized my plan worked flawlessly, I had to boast. <laughs> Let's pause the moment as well to look at his name, HH, wearing a wolf helmet. When I had fought them, I just had a pump, a low amount of med bruise, and no shield. They also found me while I was trying to transfer, and this time by pure coincidence, or maybe because karma is really there to back me up as much as it is to backlash me. Karma did come. I would find them, and this time, I wouldn't be the one running. 
We weren't off to a great start, my Maywing being killed and my bowl was missing, but I had a plan. I would first lead them towards me and then I'd know exactly where my bola would have to go. Damn, these kids got shit on me instantly. Wait, it's the guys that were fighting me. I came back and just killed them. They had 330 comps, that's why. Scary. Yeah, fucked. I just came for revenge. The feeling of revenge was awesome. But remember that little thing I told you about karma and how it rebounds from favoring you to being on the opposite end? My base somehow got found. This unraidable floating in the sky out of render base was found. And this is because Rifle 13 was not the originator, the creator of this method. It was actually one who goes by Luca. There is nothing more difficult than playing ARK by yourself. I mean, this game was initially designed to be played with over 70 people in your tribe. Definitely does not cater to the average emo, antisocial, no friends for your animal like me and you. I mean, how else would you enjoy playing this game solo? You spend hours farming to then build a raffle that can fit three storage boxes in one pestle, which you found on a YouTube video called the most hidden solo base locations ever, where any tiny semi-hidden crevice makes it into these videos. So here I am once again to teach you how I survive solo for at least several 72 hours in ARK. To make matters even worse, I'm playing the Windows version of ARK infested with cheating rats everywhere and it's fairly populated too. Now shoot this on the head. Pray for me. Also, if you find yourself enjoying the video, please feel free to hit the like button as it helps me get rich. I mean, help the poor. My solo journey began on Genesis at the Gotta Go Fast mission. Sometimes, if I'm lucky enough, I get a mining drill from it. This wipe, however, was not one of those times. What I did get was something less fortunate. A pair of two very annoying survivors trying to make a bargain out of me. Well, that can't be good. There were just a few seconds left. I thought I would make it out alive, but right when the ball ended, I was broken bones. Following my tragic death, I would start from scratch in a new DOC, Genesis 2. As you probably know, I get a tech suit. I went farming hide, crystal, metal, crystal, metal. I also took some time to check out rat holes that I knew were nearby, and for the most part, they were empty. Except for this pretty famous one, which is very hard to raid. It already had tech and heavy, so no chance there. Traveling through vents, my character did the weirdest thing I've ever seen it do. Transportation was the next thing on the list, and I was gonna need a Maywing if I wanted to travel faster. And now I would wait for 30 ingots to cook up for the saddle. I then traveled to Scorched Earth, where I thought I would start, but not before scouting a base that I would quickly live to regret. Nope, nope, there's turrets. The guy was also online, on his PT, ready to defend, so I chose to live. Home, sweet home. This cave right here would be my starter location. Evil plans ran through my head as I found sulfur, which I was very happy about, until I realized that flamethrowers were banned. The next thing I needed to craft my fabricator was paste, so I got some beaver dams on Valgoro. Obviously, this would not go uninterrupted. Oh, that's a blood wiring. Nope. I didn't have grappling hooks on me, so I did panic inside a little bit, but then I realized I had my whip on me. For some reason, instead of picking me again, he got on the ground and started biting, which gave me enough time to escape. Goodbye, survivor. After an experience like that, I thought I had enough of Alguero for the rest of the wipe. But back on Scorched Earth, things were not going too well either, as my starter base got completely wiped. And to add salt to the wound... Oh, you have to be kidding me. Good news, the Maywing is awake, but I still had to wait my 200 seconds of cryo timer, which I would spend AFK, and then this happened. At first, I panicked, 
But then, this guy clearly had no plans past bowling me, as he was completely clueless as what to do after. At this point, I consider the Deodon to be a much greater threat. In the nick of time, the Maywing re-emerges back into the game, and now we have a fair fight. He then proceeds to bowl the Deodon instead of me, which for the most part has been doing more work than him. Of course, my bolo was eventually going to land, and the torch was gonna put in the work. But this guy would then do the unthinkable. He had far better plans. He took out the map. Somehow, I was able to defeat Goku and take all its loot. However, with my starter now raided, I had to go for a new beginning. Genesis. In the middle of nowhere, I would place a cliff plat down, and this is what I would call home. Hopefully this one lasts longer than 15 minutes. I made my way back over to Gen 2 to start farming some resources like crystal. I found an oil vein, which actually had no oil in it, sadly. I did find the mantis for some poly that was getting clapped by a stego. While going through event, I found this madness, and there was only one thing for me to do. After wasting 10 minutes of my life, I decided to get back on track and now tame Maywings. The next thing I wanted to do was craft the mining drill and I would need some black pearls for that first. It was a good amount of metal, but however, I wanted to get more and faster, so I went to tame a Prokop. Somehow, I thought that because it was insta-tamed that I could tame it with medjo berries and... After a couple of seconds, I realized that I couldn't tame it with this. I needed to go back to get rare mushrooms. Here you are. Now, the Prokop obviously doesn't farm metal, but I could get a magma egg with it in the volcanic biome. Now, I would of course go AFK once I TP'd. I lost all hope thinking that I got killed by a player, but I came back and found my body. Now it's time to go to the trench. Run, broke up, run, run, broke up, run, broke up, run! The trench is no place for the lighthearted. Back at base, not much has changed besides these two new mannequins for storage. For me, it was just another day of TPing and Toshini to transfer out. A bit risky because right after me, another person would TP in. For some reason, I would hesitate for so long that right when I'm about to bolo him, he moves out of the way. And now, everything would become disaster after this. Now, when I try hard enough, I spin in circles around the bowler player while he's trying to whip my shotgun, but for some reason I was too lazy here, I thought he was almost dead, and he wasn't. Now, what I do next, you cannot predict, you cannot make up. This is how I tried to kill him. What would have been a Texas Chainsaw Massacre turned into a Monkey Massacre. After being humiliated like that, there's only one thing for me to do, and that is turn off my PC and cry myself to sleep. Once awakened from my great depression, my next objective was to get level 100 for heavy turrets. At the end of the Spino Massacre, I ended up with level 95, and I figured I would get the rest of my levels passively. If you've been watching me for a while now, you also know that I love to passively tame Tussos. But I even have a greater talent to lose them 2 seconds after taming them. And when nearly all hope was lost, I managed to pull an escape right into the BB cave. However, after realizing I had no eye and eye, and the water was very opaque, I could not be asked. Now, back at base again, the Magmasaur has clearly grown a bit from an egg, and our base is not raided, so that's good. From this point on, I decided I would no longer farm, and instead, I would seek profiting from an easy-to-raid base. I came back to the Scorched Earth base that I found, but it was now raided. I noticed that center had dirty pop, so I went to scout the outskirts of it, and eventually, I would find the base. All the pieces were coming together, as the guy in the Bloodstalker would now leave his base unattended.
I would now have to act quick because this guy could be right back anytime. And the base turned out to be all right on the profits. It had some cryos, resources, it wasn't bad. But I didn't think this through and I would kill the guy laying down next to the fabricator. Now the bloodstalker was probably on his way back. Yikes, it's empty. This guy was pretty smart. Instead of coming all the way back, he probably suicided, spawned in, and got on his griffin. Having looted pretty much the entire base, I dipped. Once ready to spawn back at my base, I realized how ironic this world was, and once it gave you a gift, it'd take it right back. As you can see, I was almost in disbelief running around in circles until I saw the cables that were broken and I realized the base wasn't gonna magically render back. I looked at Triblog and my fear became true. Well, hope you enjoyed the Come on, you guys know me, I'm not gonna quit after that. I had an entire base on me after all. It's almost like if I traded bases with someone. And on top of that, it's Ellie Day, so that gives me a chance to farm a rep. Not before I would stumble upon a fellow solo player. Who was unlucky enough to come across the better solo player. I then farmed the remaining resources for me to craft my tech rep to then realize that I needed hard poly instead of organic poly for some reason. So in the middle of nowhere I placed down a jenny, a chem bench, I started crafting paste, and now I would need obsidian. The replicator and the transmitter are now crafted. I need to find the base so I'm gonna scout some pearl caves. There were too many things to blow up here to live in it, so I was just gonna raid it and dip. It wasn't the most profitable or crazy raid, it led me to continue scouting other pearl caves and I really wasn't convinced by these locations, so I ended up going for a random spot on the edge of the nowhere of center. What do you guys think? Will I last longer than a day here? Progression had to continue though. I went to tame some Arthros and I went to tame some Mantis. I took one over to farm some flint, but I forgot to bring a saddle. Alright, let's see if we are wiped or not. Did we survive the night? Because we haven't in the past two bases we've built. Oh boy, he is so lucky he was that close to his wyvern. I then transferred back to base to depot all of my resources and my biggest fear became true. Oh, there's a guy and a girlfriend and I do not have turrets. This is not good. I instantly started crafting electronics because I didn't even have enough for a turret. And once I did, I crafted it. For some reason, this guy was just keeping his distance from the base as if I had turrets, so that made me very confused. However, it wouldn't take him long to realize this. Very quickly, I neutralized the threat, and now I would loot him, kill his griffin, and now I really need to get turrets up or I would be in danger. Why did I now have turrets by now? I don't know, I'm pretty lazy. But now, I actually had a heavy down, and I felt pretty safe. To avoid him fobbing literally on my ledge, I placed down some spam so that I wouldn't come back to just 30 heavies aiming at my base. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to bet this guy lives pretty close to me, so I'm gonna try to find him. After like 30 seconds of searching, I got bored, so I went back to base, and well, I found him. Now while he was picked, he didn't give up. He tried to bowl on me, then took out the pump, which took half of my health on the first shot, but then I made him miss everything. Now during the day, I wanted to find out some more raids to be able to profit, but I really had no luck, especially on Gen 2. Once again, Center was one of the most high pop servers, so I went back, hoping to find the base. And while I did find the base, it was already raided, so there was not much to gain from it. The heavies did have a decent amount of ARB, but to be quite frank, I really didn't care much about it since I wasn't really gonna need ARB. Bored and scouting, I finally saw a cliff plat on the middle of nowhere. I was hoping there would be like a smithy or a fabricator, but there was just nothing. And then I found another one, and once again, 
nothing. And finally, just when I was about to quit, a base. After taking a good look, I saw that some jennies were exposed along with the cables and those cliff plats could give me some nice LOS. Now, I thought that they were offline, but after this turret went off very quickly, I realized they weren't. Very common mistake, my PT being on neutral, I thought that it was gone. Somehow, it wasn't even shot. Just when I thought it was over for him, the beast manages to grapple me. I must say, Bob the male character put up a great fight. I took out the left cliff plat and unfortunately the wall was not snapped to the cliff plat but instead to the foundations, so that didn't work. I whipped him and he fell straight down, but once again this guy had made my situation a lot harder. Fixing my positioning, I got off my PT and fell halfway into the mesh, which gave me a moment of panic. But with a nice little jump forward, I got out of it. Now, I wanted to check how much damage I did, and flying back up, somehow, turrets started shooting me again. No worries though, because when I came back, my body was somehow still here. It turns out that I managed to turn off over half of his turrets, but when I was back, he had all of them turned back on, and now this raid really had no way of going, so I called it quits. I found another potential raid, but this one looked even harder as it was stacked with heavies all over. Curiosity had me check some bear caves and I would find this whole massacre. People were PvPing and this could be an opportunity for me to steal a kit. I just need to wait for somebody to be bowled, he'll for sure be dead, and then I come in and take the kit. in front of them i'm out peace only god knows why but i decided to scout pearl cave for the fun of it i went to the back spot where you usually scout it and this happened only few would attempt something like this not only is it small tribes already harsh enough it's small tribe solo, and it's me, Imian, the monkey. We're gonna start off on Gen 2, obviously, farming drops. Once we're done with that, we're gonna need a new base location, a hidden one, so that we could actually survive the night. For now, we have nothing, so we're gonna start scavenging vents. I did see on a video Rotoderp get really lucky, so maybe we have his luck. This vent, fully built. And many others wouldn't be built, but instead they'd be spammed off, ready to be sold, or just secured for now, I guess. What do we get from this? A vault. Gee! I did not stop searching vents, one after the other, but I had no luck. This was the best thing I found. But uh, give me the Z's, bruh. Ooh. After quite a while of searching, I did find something. Plant Z's. Nice. Vents weren't really working out for me, so I had to choose another route. And that would be Blue Up on Ragnarok, where I would hopefully get a kit to get the ball rolling. Look at this guy doing. What does he think? He's gonna 
get a kit or something. No way, bro. <laughs>
a tech gen and another mining. I bet you uh a king burger or whatever that's called that I do in alpha. Alright, so if you fail that you owe me a burger king then. Mm hmm Just give me a McChicken with a McFlurry. Please crash, crash, server, crash, server, crash. <laughs> go, 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 passed, go, 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 go. I passed one of the hardest part right now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way, it's good. <laughs> go, 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 <laughs> read it. <laughs> no! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh, you fumbled, you fumbled! Oh, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail. There's no way. Bro. No. no. Three, two, let's go! No! One second! <laughs> no! You fucking nerd! Oh my god. Later on, scouting in single player, I found a little rat hole in the ocean biome that I thought would be only me who knew about it. But it turns out it's pretty popular, so I would then scout it on my server, and guess what? It was actually built. Now give me the give me the cry of loot. <laughs> One rocket, let's go! I'm so good at this. It's only two that can beat it, right? Oh my days! No. Oh my days! Yeah, oh. kid, you, you you think this video's going up without me exposing you? Oh. It's fake! It's all fake! It's all fake! It's all fake! <laughs> oh my! Nah, days. it's all fake! It's all fake! It's all fake! Bro, look at the bodies. Look at the people. Face, <laughs> dickhead. Wait, am I recording? Oh my days! Man, really said you. Am I recording? Dude, all I took was me finding you about fuck. I'm countering you. I know what server you're in. Oh my days! Man, it really took. Bro, how thirsty can you be for loot? Fuck off. Give me that alley. Give me that gen two alley, baby. You know everybody's gonna think this is fake, right? You idiot. And I'm gonna make sure everyone thinks it's fake. Right now, it's fake, bro. 100% fake. Why do you know <laughs> yeah. those malls fake? Anyway. Hamilton, I raided Hamilton. Let's go. <laughs> There's gonna be a bunch of bleeps. Damn. I. I. Damn. Oh my day. E -e. Oh my days. Oh. My oh, that amount of Ellie. Oh, another compo. Oh, 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 a nice little two, so. Ah, profit. Oh, oh, hey. Give me that good powder. In the comics, very neat. No way. So why don't you drop everything that's like weighing you down on a box? These guys actually tamed everything. And just like that, I had gained a massive head start on smalls without having to farm, without having to do anything. Just farm blue drops, get a rifle, get a lee, and raid something. But I wouldn't stop there. I would go scout the same spot on every single Gen 2 server until eventually, when I had almost lost hope, on the very last server, I found another base. This one was way more defended with a bunch of techs and heavies, and I would have to rifle everything down. What? Yeah, Did it was way easier than this. It was one rocket and the heavy was gone. Wow, this is only going to take three years of me going back and forth. I ain't got no armor on, so you get hit twice when you're dead. Twice? <laughs> Motherfucker said twice. I don't believe you just about hit. No. Is that even six hundred? No. <laughs> <laughs> but after a long time of rifling it, I finally got it. Now we need to do that like seven more times. These were definitely a lot easier than the first one and didn't take much time to take down. There we go. Looks like there's no more text left, 
but there are a couple heavies up there that I need to take out. Look at this, <laughs> Eventually, I was able to get an angle on that heavy and rocket it down, but I still had to deal with heavies and techs inside of the rat hole. But then you left that stupid. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh You're my welcome. god. You welcome. You're welcome. MLG gamer moment. Yeah, they definitely can send you an email. Um, we have we investigating this issue because of this and that black lives matter. Okay, you're good to go. Wait, the heavy's gone. Let's go, baby. No, no way. I'm rocketing this. I'm rocketing this. I hope there's no loot. I hope there's I'm no loot. I'm such a gamer. Oh, uh, see, this way, this way, you're not ready. Oh, it's gone. This way, you're not ready. It's gone. It's Eight minute gone. timer. <laughs> Eight minute timer. Let's go! Shoot! We're like that! We're like that! Okay, maybe not. Uh, buddy, I'm gonna need to pipe down. I don't know how I keep not recording this, but I ended up C4ing in third person to that tech. I went and looted the base. Again, don't know why I didn't record it, but it was actually very poor despite being so well defended compared to the other one. Very sad. Outside of my hidden starter base, I saw something interesting. Near a mission, I saw a sleeping bag and a dolphin. I was gonna camp this until it was used. I know you're doing something completely important right now, but I want you to look at me. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Okay. Oh, he spawned. <laughs> what? Go! Let it. Go, 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 go! Nice. What I f tell you? What I f tell you? What I f tell you? Ah, oh, you're gonna. Oh! Wait, wait, oh! Let's hey, go! Boys. What do you mean? What I what I tell you? What I tell you? What do you mean? Oh, that is half decent. What did I tell you that? Boy, I was doing good, but things just got way better. I was raiding with Prim Flak or the Fed suit, and now I had a good set of Flak, not one but two, about 140 C4, a racer, a mana, and a Stego. Not even neutered. I had top lines already. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I think you guys know what's about to happen. I have a new flag set. I'm going with the print first to just test this and see if it's possible. Here we go. That's not exactly what I would call possible, so I moved on to then find the best hidden location I have ever found myself. No video, nothing. This was gonna be my hidden base location as a solo on smalls for I don't know how long. I first had to transfer all of my loot from this starter, which I did find in a video that was recently released. A few of you probably know about this spot. I would have to pick everything up because this was very annoying and would probably get found soon. I've been. How I've much been you want to bet? I'm gonna go on every single map and you're never gonna see this build. If it, if it goes on one map, you buy me a McDonald's meal. Alright, I'll let you know. I swear to myself that this would be the best spot I have ever seen in Ark for a hidden solo. Nobody would ever find it because I've never seen it in a video. If you know about this spot, if you really know about this spot, comment down below. Don't BS. But I swear to God, I nobody knows about this spot. I've never seen it in a video. I swear to God. Two days later. A total of six days on smalls. Two days on that spot. I get wiped by a level 53 human. In conclusion... There's no such thing as hidden, guys. Never get too comfortable. Look at me. Happy on the quest, so I just traded it for some really good blueprints. I was solo this wipe on MTS against eight-man tribes, and I was three days late. But that wasn't gonna stop me. I knew the secret to becoming rich as a solo. It wasn't gonna be easy. There would be a lot of obstacles along the way. The pages of this story would not be set in ink, and it would become one of the greatest solo wipes I've ever had.
To start off this story, I went to Ragnarok where my friends would run me through a boss fight and later, of course, I'd pay them back. Alright, guys, throw shit out. Come on, no time to lose. Guys, hurry up, bro. I, I'm fucking late to get him pussy. Fucking throw <laughs> <laughs> Who's got all this shit anyway? Who's got all the stuff? You I said you haven't done everything. This is like the most unorganized, organized tribe I've ever oh, had in yeah, my life. Are. Now I'm gonna go to their base and they're gonna take me to another drop since this one's gonna despawn. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm almost dead. You almost died. <laughs> Bro, give me hampers, give me hampers, I'm dead. Oh shit, the scorpion. I'm injured, I'm injured, I'm injured. Watch out, let me get out. Yo! Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Get the scorpion! Bro! Oh my god. Oh my. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm at 1 HP! Give me Mavrus! What are you doing? Give me Mavrus! Bro, it's on me again! No! Don't worry, I'm gonna save you, I'm gonna save you. Bro! Let me scout your base with VPN real quick. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Alright, so we got some planets. Oh, we got tech turrets already. Okay, okay, I scout it. Oh, shit. oh, you inside the base. Hello, the f. Antigua, can you open the base for me? Can you open the door? Oh, you inside. He disconnected his internet. I'm cracking golems. No. Yeah, you're the golem. I needed to get that long grass, so I started whipping all of it. But they didn't like it, because I was a little bit greedy. Hey, chill, chill. They're killing me, brother. Fuck. Because... Stuff, keep getting the lettuce. The letter L. This is lettuce. Run, man, run. Just keep bobbing and weaving, brother. You know what I'm talking about. Buggy. Oh. Now I'm doing brood, but I get bullied. Wait, people are right now, right? Okay. <laughs> you guys ready? Yes, fine, do it. Yes, sir. Oh, but don't shotgun each other, please. No way, I didn't get in. What? I didn't get in. You're not a no hide of Neville, I guess. Okay. Karma. Oh, yeah, you need to be 80, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. It would have been nice if you said that two seconds ago, you know? And we're back to Vogue, bro. Time to tame PTs. Alright. Oh, you gotta be f kidding me. <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. I, I I did that just for the video to be funny. But you have to, you know, loud equals funny, so, you know? And here we wait. All right here. You know what? It's only funny if I'm in the most obvious front. He's gonna stand right here. Okay, fine. I'll be, like, behind the rock, like a little stock. You're halfway into the bush. That way it makes it look like you're trying to be stealthy. Yeah, yeah, like a bomb. There's just so many... Sh oh. There's no way he's gonna stay on the... Hey, it's the guy now. They have upgraded. What is this? He missed it. Oh, he missed it. He suck it. He's not good at the game. He, see, he missed another C spin. He's so trash. He's running me at the stamina. I'm stuck. Now imagine wasting an hour of your life for to kill a naked. He missed it. Oh, he did not miss it. Anyways, I took things a little more serious. I killed the sheep, harvested the sheep, made a mortar and pestle, made narcotics, found the PT, tamed the PT, and found people. Somebody's taming a stego here. 150. The fuck did I just get shot at? No, like my character said, oh, that's water, my guy. water. No, See, now I'm getting shot at. No, no, that was water, and now you got shot. I dipped, throw away the things that made me heavy. And then came back around to find this teammate. You're teaming a trike here. Oh, he's on the rock. They didn't have anything valuable on his body, so to make him pay, I'll shoot the trike twice. Came back and my PT was tamed. I went out and looked for a Lemantria, which I found. I bowled it, killed it, and then harvested it. I went over to tame another PT on Crystal Isles. Then I started celebrating the 4th of July. And the Raptor celebrating Thanksgiving. Well, that's nice. I want to loot this body, but I also want to transfer, so I don't want to despawn the drop. And there's a guy. He's naked on the PT. Maybe I can pull a simplex. Nah, no, you can loot it now. <laughs> wow, thanks for letting me know, Trix. All of this for Binox and a cryopod. Now I'm gonna do a trade because I need to get tech grams for my base. Hey man, I'm still on hide. Simplex, you still can't speak English. Hello guys, and welcome back to a new video from me. Like, hello. Give me level 70, dude. 
Oh, what's up? Nice. I, okay. I don't have a cry button. I'm just gonna whip it off. It's fuck beam it, man. You booped the fuck? Did you get my shotgun? I got it, I got it, I got it. No, I... Oh. Oh, dude, I just got scared. Oh my god. Keep shooting, boys. Don't stop. We need constant dedication. The time was ticking down and the brood had a decent amount of HP, so things were starting to look scary. Three minutes left. Why is it so close? Bro, don't do this thing. Oh my god. I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, for no. Why is it so no. Stupid, no. 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 With just 40 seconds on the clock, we managed to beat the brood mother. It was very intense. Got myself a crystal wyvern on Isles. There's three crabs knocked out, bro. Correction. He had three crabs knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then my wyvern decided to gain a conscience by itself and move every time that I was close to it. When the RG came, I realized that their base was pretty close, so I think it's time for me to get out of here. And now I will settle down, make a base, place some forges down, a smithy, and farm some resources. Now I'm gonna need more weight, so an RG comes into play. That's where I found the 135. I trapped it, knocked it out, and tamed it. On my way back to Blue Up, I found two people farming, so I'm gonna try to counter them. Pick them. Oh, shit. see the whip. And they have a fire. And a griffin. Yo, my bad, my bad. No, my bad, my bad. I regret it. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, yo, I was joking. I was joking. Well, that was a mistake, to say the least. Oh, my. Oh, my. Then I had Hamilton. Never mind, some people will take that joke literally. I found the Nanki and I tamed it. Look at this base, bro. Cheers! Is that a f***ing wyvern? <laughs> They're very big. Mush up. Yeah, I'm killing that wyvern. <laughs> oh, poor guy. The berries that this could have. They're like, oh, hello, bro. Ah, he's gonna cry. An unholy amount of resources were farmed by me, solo, on an RG and Nanki. I uploaded everything. Let's get some tranks so that I can tame a Thiac Leo and get level 100 killing a Titan. Oh, there's one. 35. Nice. No, 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 crap, pop, pop. I give him nothing or something. How I get geared as a solo player. I trapped the damn beast. I killed some terror birds that were on the way. And a shutdown came my way. 15 minutes. So, I should knock this out before the time runs out. To prevent losing valuable items. Alright, all I have to do now is lay in my bed. So that I don't lose anything on my body. Log off. Come back on and tame my Tyler. No way, the Tyler disappeared. Eventually, I found the level 95, which is perfect. If you want to know why I'm naked, just leave a comment down below and I'll reply to one person and that person won't know why. Tamed my boy. Gave it a bad name so that I could rename as something very cool. There's a Titan right there, time to kill it. As long as I just bite for the tail and go away as I bite, I'll be safe. No way, dude. I'm gonna wire Oh, oh no. my god, Immune. He's just killing your Titan, Immune. I would shotgun it if I were you. Oh man, this is a troll, bro. Maybe dismount your wyvern and shoot it with your shotgun whenever you can. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you won't have to forex. Nah, so. he got it. Now he's gonna kill my Tyler. Wow. The new way I'd be getting level 100 is killing this wyvern, which wouldn't give it to 100, but it'd give me some XP. Crafted some grenades and blew the base up to see what's inside. And it would give me enough resources to craft C4 and break the wyvern's base. Nine levels for that. Not bad. Flying around, I found some knocked out carbos, which means that somebody was taming them. So I decided to go take a look. It was actually a guy in a poison wyvern, which I'd follow. He's standing still. I was simply enjoying how fat his kit was, and then got surprised by another wyvern. To add insult to injury, the lightning wyvern found my base.
I didn't think I would have to become this tryhard just to survive for more than two days. So what I'm going to do is actually build a hidden location now. So I introduce you to my hidden location of Hogwarts. I team the Megatherium and it's time for Swamp Cave. Yeah. No way. I heard the cryopod sound. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's Wait. extended warranty. Oh yeah. You yeah, you did. I went fully inside to the cave and the other guy just left. I came back later and now was able to get level 100. I went on a PT hatching spree and forgot about them so they died. It's time to get in that blueprint farming so we're gonna team an Ecti to then team two suits. 145, perfect. We need 50 black pearls so let's get them here real quick. I brought a raft all the way to the corner of the map throw out the tussles and had them breeding. And when mommy and daddy love each other, you get tussle eggs. Tussles are the cutest baby dinos ever. Prove me wrong. Remember the guys that brought me into their boss fights? Well, I gave them two tussles in return. My favorite part of the game at this point, the BP cave. We're gonna farm some blueprints and trade them to get rich as a solo. There's a little on here. I brought honey for that. Gonna tame it. It gives me a Lazarus chowder effect with no scuba tank. And it also increases my luck with BPs. Sometimes you have to be careful because people like putting turrets here. Whenever I get too stacked, I come to a drop and upload the good BPs. For example, I got a gauntlet's BP and some weapon BPs too. I got a helmet. Oh my god, with 400 armor. I send it though. How much turret? 467. Found the guy on a Tuso lacking. The last thing you want is to be on a Tuso against a 300 movement speed Tuso. Wait, dolphin. Wait. His kit was very much an improvement from my torch to a compound bow. Oh, legs BP. Not that good though. Oh, there's a guy in a dolphin. He might get away though. He's so close. Rest in peace, my boy Clarence. My guy was fat though. He had two flak BPs on him. He had a riot shield and a shotgun BP. Once again, look at my upload and my inventory. It's gotten a little fat, so we gotta upload. The process of beginning to trade is now starting. I'm not even leaving the map or losing my effect. I go to trade and I go back to the cave. Give me stuff. I upload, then I give you BP. And now you're about to find out where I'm gonna live. Take a look at what I got. I did so much trading that I started to trade in pairs of two. Yo, is this you who I'm trading with? Is this the guy I'm trading with? Bro, no way. I'm gonna do two trades at once. You have this uh, monkey. All right, next trade, please. Thank you. I'm giving you a helmet BP, right? Give me the profits. Give me the profits. Yeah. Oh, Clarence, I feel bad. I, I killed you on a dolphin. <laughs> uh. I better get back to my Tusa before it dies. She was in this drop. Oh my God, a Tusa. Holy. I think this is enough BP cave for today. Time to go do Rockwell. All right, I'm gonna hide here and act like I snuck into the boss fight. All right, so they started the boss fight. Yo, the guy here. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Wee. I just put Red Bull over my keyboard, nice one. Lots of people ask me how to get behind the ramp, and it's pretty easy. That's it. Remember that trade? Now, it's time to throw it out. Yeah, this is gonna have to do. For a while, we're gonna be calling this home. This is probably the riskiest travel I've ever done in my life. This is carrying my entire solo series right now. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm spawning in my base with everything that I have in this entire series on me. G. My squids both have 100% imprint and they grew up to be young adults. Imprinted, 300 movement speed, may boosted squids. This, my friends, is Black Force energy. The strongest underwater dino didn't even stand the chance. I'm gonna take a nap in the cave, bro. By the way, that wasn't a joke. I left my tools there, I put on an alarm, and I went to sleep. <gasps> yup, this is the part where we skedoosh. 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 Oh, legs. Bruh. Luca. Yeah. Luca. Oh, get this out. I saw sun stream. Mr. Even, get this out. <laughs> <laughs> the base had its progression, and I forgot to show you guys, but I legit got two Dino eggs. Two. One was 150. So I decided to hatch it, you know, because why not? I also had a crystal wiring growing. This just looks beautiful. Yo, I'm your so. biggest fan, Emil. Turn around, bro. I threw you the sh Booga booga. Can you sign my shirt, Emil? Sign my shirt on the back. Yeah, yeah. I traded the BPs for wood, stone, and metal ingots. I was not joking to you when I said I wasn't going to farm. 
Remember that Dino Egg? He's a grown baby now. 34 HP. I don't know if you know that, but that's pretty insane. The trading continued. I was now getting a high level Reaper for some BPs. I also t traded <laughs> Thatch for, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make wood ceilings. That's all. No harm in buying Thatch, boys. Oh! Oh! A 585 Dura Boots BP. GG. I was streaming on my Twitch, hey, link in the description, and I told Yurtos I'd give him $100 if he killed me. And he did this. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, mate! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh I got tired of flying around on PT, so I also did a trade for three crystal wyverns and a lightning egg. I needed to get a BP from Yurtos because I gave it to him, but now I need it back because I need to trade it for something important. No way! Yurtos, Yurtos, come to the green drop. A peggle took the BP. My Giga BP, bro, that I'm gonna trade for the Quetzal. No way. I'm trying to knock it out. I knocked it out. Oh, I got it, I got it. Hey, yo, it's your boy Amian with the Quetzal base and the Quetzal breeding base. GG. I got crops growing in the sky, boys. My Reaper is about to hatch in 20 seconds. I made a little one by one for it. Let's get it. Oh no fucking way. I came back down on a PT and I found out it started. Living on a Quetzal isn't all that great because I can't use a transmitter. So I'm going to move into a rat hole. I went on single player and I found the location that I want to build in, but I need to test how to get in first. So you have to place a zip line exactly right here and then exactly about in the middle of it. Eventually, I messed myself inside, only joking, and I actually found the person who was already built here. There wasn't really much, but I could come back and raid this. I thought that the base was fine and uh, the guy was offline and he had quit, so I placed my own foundation in my bed, transmitter, and I would bring all my loot over here. The guy who I thought had quit actually was here and i logged on on the perfect time he had just looted my kit but hadn't killed me where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? he picked me off and i couldn't continue this fight for too long so i had to think of something I haven't left my room. he got me stuck just for enough time to kill me if I'm my friend Luca brought me an emergency kit back and I was determined to get inside and get my base back. Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? Finally killed him. He had most of my loot and cryos on him. He really thought he would get away with it. And then I would happily log off, thinking that I was safe and my base would be there for another day for me to get more content for you guys. Whatever life holds in store for me, I will never forget these words. With great power comes great responsibility. This is my gift, my curse. Who am I? I'm Emian.